All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club Stop and Chat. Today we have a special, special, special guest. Returning special guest, Mr. Corey Duffel, is with us. Can I give a special, special, what the fuck? We got your mom Wilson here. Dude. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. In the back hill. Man, I'm happy to, Hill. happy to be here, Corey. Hell yeah. The hardest working AM in the industry. Remember that ad? That ad? Yeah, dude. Oh, really? You had a hardest working AM ad? I don't remember this. Yeah, I was like, I was thinking I was working in the back and I was oh. holding the boxes. Girl and shit. ad. Yeah, girl yeah. ad. Yeah, I do remember that. Hard. Yeah. Overalls. You had overalls yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played the role. See, Fitty, you know. Corey is such a skate nerd. I love it, dude. Dude. <laughs> well, he definitely fits right in here. Sure, yeah. <laughs> it's not every day you get to, you know, sit there and you get it. I want you to be like, hey, can I talk to Jerron? Can I do some questions for him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, I know. This, is a, a, this is a free for all, man. Oh. If you got questions, bro, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> You, know? you go both ways here, right? Yeah, <laughs> fire back at us, bro. Come on. Absolutely. Only way to do it. Definitely. But hey, thanks for having me back, man. Dude, cool. thank you, bro. And let me tell you something. You're looking good. What's going on, man? You skating every day? What's what's cracking over there? I wish I could say I had been have been skating every day. Um, okay. So I've had uh, I got hurt pretty bad right in the beginning of COVID. Mm. Uh, it's kind of like a damn. You don't want to talk about the past and be like, oh, I got hurt. You know, especially as you're trying to like, yeah, I'm skating, I'm killing it. But <laughs> yeah, in the beginning of quarantine, um, I slipped a bag of Doritos at the skate park. You slipped yeah. on a bag of Doritos. While landing a trick or when, when you were pushing or what? Okay, so it goes back a little bit further. Okay. I broke my hip, I broke my pelvis last October. Um, I was on fire. I was fucking killing it, dude. Like I was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was at, like, I was feeling really really good on my skateboard really comfortable mm -hmm. um filming every day about ready to finish up a video part or maybe i had it finished but i just wanted to you know a little bit more i got greedy yeah of course and, and i was going out with my buddy bob and i was like shit one of those things where i'm 36 i should have known better like days already been rough i've slammed many a times i already got four tricks that day i should have you know been like damn that's amazing hey i'm done today but you know sometimes you just want a little bit more and I don't know that feeling. Four <laughs> tricks in a day. Bro. Four tricks in a day. That's a wow. Yes. That's, uh, that's like, woo, man. I was coming out of something, and I did a Bo Jackson initially, where my femur broke through my pelvis. And your femur oh. broke through your pelvis. So it, wow. That's a pretty. That's horrible. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, I was kind of straight-legged a little bit while running out. Didn't think too much of it. I mean, I knew I felt... Actually, I thought a lot of it. I, I was like, fuck, something's not right. But I could walk out of it. And so, actually, like, I called my wife. I called Rachel. I'm like, um, I think I'm actually, like, really hurt right now. I was like, I think I might have broken something. I was like, I don't know if it's my hip, my back, or my leg. Something's wrong. So I went down to the ER that night, did the x-rays, and they're like, oh, you're walking. You're fine. Everything's all good. What? Like, you sure about that? They're like, yeah, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. And then... Let's like kind of fast forward about a month. I'm like, dude, something still is not right in my hip. It's like totally bugged me. So I go back to the doctor. They're like, everything looks fine. I was like, please just give me an MRI. I was like, something is not right. I was like, something's kind of funky. Yeah. So then they give me an MRI. I get a call back, I don't know, like the next day. Usually it's like a week or two before they call you back with the results. Okay. And I get call back going hey can you come in today we, we want to talk to you i was like Jeez, okay sure that's not very yeah. cool sounding yeah <laughs> i'm like i'm coming into the doctor's office i'm like i see two guys in white coats like surgeons and my normal doctor and I'm like hey how are you walking what do you mean like skateboarders bro resilient bro. yeah, yeah. Really. like we should not be so, walking when shit's going on go ahead yeah i'm like so well, what do you mean? They go, okay, we got the MRI back. They go, your femur broke through your pelvis. You have a broken hip socket right now. They go, are you familiar with football? It's like, well, you know, a little bit. They go, well, the guy from, you know, like the, Atlanta, the Crimson Tide, I don't know the college team, their star quarterback did this last week, and he was airlifted out off the field. They go, do you know – you know, Bo Jackson is like Bo knows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or who doesn't know Bo? Yeah. Best athlete of all time. Mine is M you know, MJ. <laughs> but I'm like, why? Wow, what's up? They're like, you pull you pull the Bo Jackson. Wow. I was like, so what's that mean? And they're like, well, it's been two 
you're like six weeks since you've done it, you're walking fine. So let's just kind of hope everything stays in place and it works out. What? I was like, oh, cool. All right. <laughs> so oh, they're like, take them um, like another two, two months off or whatever. Yeah. And slowly start walking. I was like, all right, cool, bitch. And I get the okay to start pushing around. They like start exercising. So I went to the skate park. I'm like, I'm going to go to the park, play it safe. Just go cruise around. Not even like on my normal skateboard. I had brought like the fat old school shape mm -hmm. to like make sure I wasn't doing tricks. Right. It is really, really annoying because after 26 years of skating, I've never had a knee injury. And here I am just cruising, pumping around. All of a sudden, I'm doing a little slasher and I'm, oh shit, Slurpee. Like all the kids leave mess, like just a mess yeah. everywhere. Oh no. And I'm like, oh fuck, I see Slurpee, slushy, whatever it is. And I jump off and then I hesitate for half a second because my hip is still kind of bad. So I was scared to put my hip, like my left leg down. Right. And for that split second, I kind of thought about it. I put my right foot down. I landed in a bag of Doritos and kind of just did a little, not, oh. like nothing really like just a little yeah and i was like oh mate i was like huh that's kind of a strange little pop but thought nothing of that could keep i was able to skate the rest of the time but i'm like something kind of felt a little bit off mm -hmm. and so i just kind of was waiting a little bit be like let's see if it gets good in a week you know i was like oh it's nothing a week later i'm i'm back to filming i was like yeah i feel fine then another week goes by. I'm like, my knee's kind of swelling up. This feels kind of crazy. So I go back to good old Kaiser. I'm like, hey, guys, hip is kind of okay, I guess. It's broken, but, you know. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, push, I'm skating, but I slipped on a bag of Doritos. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, so they do all like those knee things, you know, like the, the all these. Testing, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've all had those, right? Mm. Right. Terrifying. I mean, it's like going in for AIDS or something, like. <laughs> Is my cell good? You know, you're like, <laughs> dude, what's dude, going dude. on here? You know the it's it, oh, it's nerve wracking, dude. Yeah, it is nerve wracking. Yeah, it's yeah. you know, usually they just do the little triangle thing and hit your knee, and then you, you, oh, you yeah, pop, yeah, your yeah. knee pops up. Yeah. But that, nope. that's uh, there's a whole other story. <laughs> yeah, like, meniscus, good. LCL, good. ACL, good. I'm like, cool. I'm like, so what's wrong? Like, oh, you're fine. No biggie. Then all of a sudden, a week later, this is very beginning of March, let's say. So it's like next week it's COVID hits. Mm. And I'm like, that week, I'm like, fuck, my knee is killing me. It's just not working. So I try to go to the doctor. They're like, oh, you can't come in. Right. Blah, blah, blah. We've all dealt with it. We sure. all got COVID. We, or we didn't catch COVID, but we all got COVID did somehow. Mm. It fucked us over. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> COVID did. <Finally>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> about eight weeks after i finally get the email from the doctor oh come you know come back in we'll give you the mri so i'm like okay cool get the mri back once again it's like <sighs> Corey, we gotta talk to you oh god like, what's up i'm like torn meniscus oh, it's all good right they're like well you have torn cartilage but you ripped the cartilage off your femur <sighs> i'm like what now they're like your articular cartilage I was like, I was like, okay, so what's that mean? It's all good, right? They're like, you know, when you eat like a chicken wing and you bite it off and you see the white shiny part, that chewy stuff. I'm like, I'm sure you guys know. I'm like, yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know, when you bite that part off and you get the bone on your tooth and it kind of hurts and you look at it for a second, you're like, oh, yeah, I, I just fucked up that guy's cartilage. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> Dead chicken? Yeah, sorry, I just ate you. But, um, and also, I just, oh, yeah. So they're like, you pour that stuff and your bone is exposed. I was like, oh yeah, God. well, like how much? They're like, about 30 millimeters. So it's like a 1992 Spitfire tire, you know? Like, I was just, a tire, yeah. right? a Spitfire tire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness, bro. Dude. I don't even think that counts as a tire. I mean, it is a. No, I mean, that's small, I, dude. Wait, so it was the MRI that showed it showed that? Yeah, so the MRI picked it up. Yeah. And But it took so long to get the MRI because COVID. And when I find out what should be happening is they're like, this. we should have done a surgery right away mm. to help it. But then they're like, I'm like, so what, what do we need to do to this? I can't believe this all, all started from, 
have you been skating lately? I wish I could say, <laughs> yes, I've been having the best time of my life. Schools are closed. Businesses are closed. Right. Video parts are done. I'm killing it. Life rules. But well, we went in a whole other direction. Yeah, <laughs> we did. But it's it, not relevant. No, that's what it is. Bro, it I'm so yeah. sorry to hear yeah. all that, dude. So yeah. then I'm like, okay, so what, what kind of, what do we do about this? Like, they're like, oh, we're going to do a cartilage transplant. Uh, I'm like, okay, I'm down. I'm not even knowing what the surgery I'm signing up for is. Yeah. I'm like, so what is it? They're like, oh, it's called an oats. I'm like, okay, cool. And then I go home. I start researching this oats thing. It's um, it's a cartilage transplant where, so now I'm like, holy shit, this is not like some little tiny you know surgery I'm gonna get and be walking in right. a couple of days. I'm like, I don't want this. this no, <laughs> no, yeah. away from me. This is bad so what they end up doing is they drill out a piece of you can kind of see it yeah they take out a fucking two holes out of my femur and then they insert a cadaver femur with the cartilage on it drill out homeboy dead homeboys shit and then they just hammer it into mine wow. and you hope the body accepts it whoa yeah hope wow. the body accepts yeah. it yeah and then so since covid was happening it's kind of it's like super grave and kind of mean to sound, say, but not enough young people were dying. So to get the cadaver took some extra time too. Oh, interesting. Mm. So I'm sitting there going, okay, I need the surgery, but it's going to now, like I said, it's super grave, but I'm like, now I'm waiting for some, you know, like a young enough guy to die. Cause I'm like, I don't want some 50 year old white fat boy. I want, like, right. some shit, you know, like you want the, you got options yep. on there. Yeah, I don't want that yeah. one. That's, that's, stand away from that I one. I want that prime cartilage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you know, like 18 year old skateboarder. You know? Right. So you decided to go through with it after reading I, all this I research. Went through with that. I was like, you know what? 2020, it's a wash. This sure sucks. Yeah. Whatever. If it means taking, you know, some time off to heal, to get better for the future, all for it. There you go. How long ago did you get the surgery? July 20th and August, September, okay, can we allowed to move on my club? Yeah. yeah. What you got? Moving now. Oh, look at him. There you okay. go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. I wish I had some beats to play. <laughs> yeah, looks yeah. like he has some. I know. <laughs> Dude, the record collection, bro. But, so recovery is going really good. Like, yeah. after the two week mark, they were like, man, you're at the six week mark. At six weeks, they're like, you're at like five months. They're like, right. you don't know what you've been doing. Just keep it up. Nice. Hey, I want to just say that skaters are so resilient. Yes. Like yeah. just the fact that you walked in there and they're like, how are you walking yeah. right now? This is, <laughs> this is a medical mystery. Yeah. Like, yeah. like this really? should be on television. And it's crazy. You get the surgery so you can go back out there and do it again. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. so many people oh my God. that don't have that thought just, oh, I'm never doing that again. Yeah. yeah. I'm never going to try that again. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And skateboarders sure. do not and, think that way. Mm -mm. So that that's been my 2020 so far. I mean, mm. fantastic year for all of us, right? <laughs> well, we always have next year to look forward to, man. That's what we're you doing know? at that's, this point. And it sounds like you're on the road to recovery, dude. Like you're ready to roll almost. I started thinking like, I was like, okay, should I be an adult and think the smart way right now? Should I be typical skateboarder and go, fuck it, dude, I could skate. Adult. And then I in five years yeah. or 10 years or six months, I'm going to hate my life or I have an opportunity to get this thing. And in 10 years, I'll still be grooving. I'll, I'll still be feeling good. So I started thinking adult I, I, weird concept to say, yeah. thinking of the future, but <laughs> yeah. we need to do it sometimes. No, you yeah. have to dude. I mean, because like skateboarding is not going anywhere, you know, and whatever it is, six months, a year, whatever that is to heal is yeah. well worth it in the long Definitely. run. In the long run, you're going to be, 60 years old, you know, uh, tail slide, nose grabbing a rail. Here you go. <laughs> Dude, if you're doing that, to 60, do so. uh, yeah. 60. If I'm, if you're I'm telling 60 you. doing that, man, I hope you're making a lot of money. I'm too, telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. I didn't put it past him. I wouldn't no, put it not past him. Not at all. Shit, 60 year old is still I know. the randomest trick for a 60 year old to do. <laughs> that, that <can't> be right <laughs> yeah. I didn't say what so, size a rail was. Yeah. Oh, it could just be any know, handrail. Any handrail. Yeah, yeah. Could have just went to like the straight yeah, nose slide. You can go to front tail, <laughs> tail, nose grab. You know? 
But that, that was like my, what, how long we had? We had like 50 minutes already. The whole nine clubs over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Thank you so much for stopping by, bro. This has been incredible. You've had a few injuries though throughout the years, haven't oh. you? Lots of injuries. Yeah. I mean, maybe we should show, you guys seen this one? The last one, that thing oh, yeah. sucks. The oh, wrist. The thing, wrist. The elbow that doesn't like, can't even touch my shoulder. It's like. Bro, we have the same affliction. Yeah. You got that too. I can't yeah, touch my like, shoulder. Look, this one I could touch. This one I, ca I can't push it. Look, <laughs> it's stuck. Wow, that's crazy. It's stuck. stuck. Is it Yours is way worse yeah. than mine, bro. I'm almost I there. I can't yeah. touch that elbow. I think it's actually, you know, it's just, these are just too big, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, oh there is a resistance. Yeah. 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 I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I got my guns, exactly. you know? Yeah. Yeah. I found out that I broke my wrist like, fifth, or like 10 plus years later. Like I, the scaphoid, I didn't even know that it was broken. Yeah, and I then, feel like that stuff happens. Yeah, you don't get checked out. Yeah, you're like, ah, as long as it doesn't hurt. You but know? the reason why the elbow, I found out later, I never did any physical therapy. Mm. You know, physical uh -huh. therapy is the biggest part of right, a recovery, back, of healing. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I got a, I got a question. What do you, what advice do you give to people when they're hurt in dealing with an injury when you're a skateboarder? Like, what do you do with your downtime? Is that, that's obviously a tough part, but how have you dealt with it? You know, well, if I see kids and I see them, you know, with a cast on, I, I honestly tell them, I go, hey, don't, not to be like, hey, this is about me, but I'm like, hey, listen to me. I've been fucked. <laughs> Take, don't cut that cast off. Like, actually let it heal. Yeah. And they're like, oh, dude, this thing fucking sucks. I'm like, I know it sucks. Let me tell you what's even worse. Having this thing and not being able to move your wrist more than that. Oh my God. Cause then it affects all of your skateboarding or your whole life. Cause you can't fall. You can't do certain things. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, whatever man. But I'm like, so I just try to, you know, tell him like, Hey, actually pay attention to it. Or if you hurt, mm -hmm. fucking stay off skateboarded. It's not yeah. going anywhere. But it's, it's hard to accept that, especially when you're a kid or young. Sure. And especially when an adult's telling you anything. Like I got a kid at the skate park two nights ago my little homie Brooks, and he's telling me about the movie Kids. Like, you ever seen Kids? That shit's the sickest, you know? I'm like, and I want to be like, don't follow those kids. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, yeah, you just have true. to be like, oh, right, right. I, I heard, never heard of that movie before. What is it? Even though you, I saw it in theater when I was 10 years old, you know? But right. you're like, fuck, man. Fingers just crossed that, you know? They have their heads on their shoulders good enough to figure it out or whatever. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. But kids aren't gonna listen, especially some guy with a receding hairline at the skate park. <laughs> like, hey, bro, man, <laughs> and he, don't, don't do this. And he watched you slip on a Doritos bag too. <laughs> yeah, and this guy here is telling me this shit. Come on, the old Dorito bag, huh? <laughs> And I know they did it to just sabotage me. Oh, like, how, either like, I, I, we're going to put a Slurpee here, and then he's going to go up, and the Dorito bag's going to go right here. <laughs> Watch his leg. Huh? That's, that shit is sketchy, though, when your feet slip dude, like that. That's the most yeah. dangerous thing, like a, uh, maybe like a ledge over dirt or over rocks. Like, that's oh, the sketchy. That's oh, yeah. sketchy. Dude, yeah. If you, you know? ever know it's a scary one is when your pants are too long and your, goes under the heel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And slick around and you slide on that. that. You mm. hyperextend that shit. Yeah, I did that. I I tweaked my ACL once doing that, and I was out for like two months. The little God, things you gotta I watch got out for. for that, just wear the flood pants. You know, like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those could uh, those almost are jorts. Oh yeah, those, those are kind those of are, similar to jorts right there for sure. Yeah, homemade jorts. Those are a little like yeah. those are a little They're tighter. longer. The yeah. longer, and a little, tighter. little and tighter. tighter. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> The silver tab jorts are in the back room. Like, uh, <laughs> we all have yes. silver tab. Hell <laughs> yeah. That's a brand? No, it's a Levi silver tab. Oh, silver tab. Yeah. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. Gerard had a nice yeah, baggy. Definitely had those. <laughs> oh, yeah. Draw those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slipped on your pants. Yeah. You're, you guys both, you guys all wax ledges. That shit's the scariest, man. The yeah. oh, oh, old yeah. man in the shower. Yeah. Fucking dying. That's fucking Sli happened. For slipping sure. back. Dude, getting hurt the randomest time. Yeah, but listen, it's... bro. You, can we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about slipping out on a ledge. Okay. Listen. <laughs> here's the thing. We're gonna. This is something new on the show. We're gonna take a deep dive, so to speak, into maybe some of your greatest hits. I don't know. Maybe uh, you know, some clips or whatever. Yeah. But the things that come to my mind the most. Let me get my little paper. 
Wow, okay. He, he, he got real nervous got, right here. He's oh, like, oh, no, this what? Is all, no, man, this, this is, is all gravy. This is awesome. This is, this is gonna be sweet. Bro. Bro. I get nervous, the hair just gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's growing at the moment, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's like Pinocchio. No, but let me play let me play you a couple <laughs> clips, Corey, because now we're to oh, cheers to the liquid death, you know. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 it is it is right you spit it out um i love it no it just made me think about like okay you're talking about slipping out on a, on a on a ledge that's waxed and here we are we pulled a bunch of these clips and i'm like here's Corey just like going crazy bro let me find this let me find a couple of these slams yeah. here man no oh, first of all here we go this is, uh, yes. is he taking some CBD yeah, now? Like some CBD. I am. <laughs> yes. I got to like, get into it, man, like, man. Oh yeah, hey, sponsor plug in, right? There you, there you go. go. CBD MD. <laughs> Listen, I've been trying to get them to send me some shit for a while, Corey. Yeah, can you get them to send club? Nine Club some? Yeah. All you gotta do is, yo, text me that address. Okay. Hey, oh, okay. even Kevin White fucking hit me up and said I want some. Oh, nice. Young man got it. We'll see. I'm gonna <laughs> nice. tell you something right now. I hurt my calf three, four weeks ago, I went to the, the, the store and bought some CBDMD. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, nice. yeah, tell him to send me some product and a, and a uh, reimbursement check. Reimbursement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You knew, you knew he was going to save the receipt? You saved the receipt? No, but I got the barcode on there and everything, bro. <laughs> okay. But, okay, so here here we go. Here we go. So let, this is this is what me, made me think about the, these clips when we were talking about slipping on a ledge. Can you see the, can you see the, the screen right here? You know which oh, clips. Yeah. You know which clips know coming. I yeah, I already know. This is like, look at that, bro. That's you know, oh, and what happened there? That is there a Dorito bag there too. That's what it looks like, <laughs> dude. Gee, that was horrible. That, that was the kind. When I stood up after it was more. You know, didn't want to stand up because you're like, oh. but my balls were fully hanging out because I don't wear underwear and the pants just, you know, fully exploded. Oh, that one wasn't fun. That was back to I did go to the doctors and they did the old me thing. Yeah. Made sure. Oh, my nothing God. Happened. Nothing happened to be what, like 19 years old. So, right. Don't be kind of bounce loose back. And, yeah. Oh, my God. That thing looks so yeah, steep, dude. Eight. And then there's this one, 411. Oh, goodness. <laughs> What oh. the hell is that? Yeah. That was my first trip, so that's actually that just looks terrible, but <laughs> <laughs> was your first trip? That was my first trip with foundation up to the Pacific Northwest. It was cool. So that's awesome. You know, like I felt like I had something to prove and I had my Lee trousers on and my Lee denim jacket. I mean that was a hell of a look back for that time, you know. Mm -hmm. Springsteen style. But, Look at that. Uh, oh my gosh. Because you got the tail end of that, that, that folder. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I sacked it or what, but I had already made it and it was one of those things. You got to do it again? Yeah, sure. Why not? We need the photo. Oh, no. oh. that's when you first learned <sighs> that, like, okay. I gotta do. I gotta do it again for the photographer oh, now. Yeah. That's why you got and to disclose beforehand that I'm not doing this again. <laughs> we're doing. It. You're, we're all getting it right here yeah, when I right. land it. This one right yeah. here. <laughs> Photographers have really fucked up my career a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my life, not my career. They fucked up my life a little bit. Hey, can we do it again? Because when I was feeling good, I mean, I don't want to sound completely cocky, but I guess how do you not sound cocky when you're like. Yeah, I was doing that shit first go, second try, typically. Yeah, right. You knew you were going to get messed up. So it was either two options, make or break. Or I was like, you know, like I would tap my board, spin it around and say in my head, you know me, prepare to die. Like, just you know can. Me. Right. <laughs> Wow. It's a hell of a mantra. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lenny. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's a Motorhead song, but it's... <laughs> You know me, evil eye. You know me, prepare to die. And I would throw down singing that every time. And so, but after you make it first try, they think you have it like that. Right. And I've had some, yeah, a lot of injuries from those type of things. Mm. Broken arms, bro Ugh. broken ankle, like all sorts of shit where I'm like, oh, bitch. And I had a chance to be on this trip for another two weeks or the king of the road or Phelpers called me up like, Hey, how did Phil throw skater of the year away? I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, did you really break your ankle? I'm like, yeah. Oh, wait. All because someone asked you to do a trick again. Oh, you know, my just gosh, dude. 
It happens. And I'm not yeah. saying, oh, it's their fault. Obviously, I'm laughing with a grain of salt, you know. Yeah. But it, because obviously, I accept accountability. It was me that was like, yeah, yeah, I got it again. But you eat shit and you're like, God damn it. Yeah. We already yeah. got the photo, but you wanted your fucking fisheye hossy angle now, or like, <laughs> dude, it's crazy. Like, hey, no, man, it happens. Right? Yeah. I think you got to stay on your ground. I mean, I well, mean, when I'm, you're young yeah. too, it's hard to do that because you want to please everybody, of right? Course. You yeah. know. Here's but as game. you get older, you're like, no, 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 dude. Yeah. You know, one it's, try. It's yeah. like you look at Jamie Foy's. Remember the front crook down El Toro, and it's that one photo. But like, yo, you ain't. Asking him to do another Fuck front no. crook, dude. We got right. it. Like, you know, <laughs> we're done. We're done. Yeah, here. we're done. It's all good. Yeah. I'm like, dude, Especially that's... that cal- those caliber tricks. It's like, bro, you guys, the filmers and photographers just need to be in the fucking right place at the right time yeah. and capture yeah. that shit right, because right. this is this is like I, stuntman I mean, shit. To and me, Corey. Sorry to interrupt, dude. Kelly, but even Corey back in the day too, it was probably film. So they yeah. want to make sure even they're getting so. their shots oh, as well. Hit, yeah. Uh, people don't even know now. I mean, we all know this. But the way escaping, escaping has progressed so much, even the fact you could see that digital photo right away and you go, shit's whack, I don't want to do it. Or you go, damn, that shit is fucking sick. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Right. Or you see the way you're doing it or even watching the clip back. Cause you know, know. VX, you have, um, high eight, mm-hmm. you were going to mess up the pellet, you know, the playback. So right. you never got a chance to see what you were doing wrong or if anything was going wrong. And then maybe, maybe one day you get to see that photo but like that front side board slide right there, motherfucker was shooting a sequence. Mm. Like, what on earth? Like, Luke, why are you shooting a sequence of a front board on, you know, like a 20 stair handrail? Right. You know, it's like weird stuff, you know? Dude, you're so I, right on like, you're not being able to look at what mm-hmm. you're doing. I never, like getting a photo, the one photo, the still photo, mm-hmm. if you saw what you got, you some people wouldn't even try the trick again. They're like, oh, no. we got the Oh, photo. yeah, we got it. Yeah, right. Yeah, back then, you yeah, want to yeah, make yeah. sure, because you got to go back to the dark room. You got to develop them. And then, yeah. God, I missed it by that much. And the photo's worthless. Mm-hmm. It's done. And so you remember that. Doing that same trick, sometimes, I don't want to yeah. exaggerate, but it's not actually exaggerating. Some homie listening to this going to be like, that guy's full of shit, but we all know this. You had to do that fucking K-grind, that heel flip, whatever that trick was that we all done. Sometimes 20, 30 times, two rolls of film. Yeah. Yep. That's and true. there's no... And there might be none that come out. When you see that contact sheet, you're like, fuck, those all suck. (laughs) Yeah. And luckily if it's a sequence too, they could piece it together and you know, you already (laughs) made it so they could, you know, they could piece a good, if the the camera. If they're in the right frame and everything lines up. It was a whole thing. I used to like, I would make, I did this so much. I would make sure I got the clip first. I would do this, especially at night. I would be like, I'm gonna get the clip first. Photographer would be there. I'm like, hey dude, sorry. I would just be like this. You're gonna have to wait on the shooting because I can't see anything when the flash goes sure. off. Oh yeah, get the get the clip, all good. All right, let's get a trick. We'll we'll get the photo, and we're done. Right. I'm right. not trying to do this twice. I'm not trying to have you guys argue over angles. I'm not trying to get blinded by the, the like, thing. I could. I just couldn't do that. Yeah. And that's something because digital wise, I could do that, which mm-hmm. is you know. But beforehand, there's no way. Before yeah. now. Yeah, the strobe light effect. Oh, dude. Especially so what you were doing. You're yeah. jumping down huge shit. Did that really affect you? Were you tripping on that at all? I hated it. I don't... Night skating looks cool, but I never liked it much once you had to set up the lights and you had a camera, you know, all the flashing going off. But mm-hmm. if it, if you're just out skating at night, you know, natural light, that was always fun. But dude, going out, when you have a light on it, sometimes for the way the filmer wants it, it's beautiful for them, but it doesn't always work for us. It's Shadows. shining. So you're yeah. seeing a shadow right on the bottom side of the rail, let's say sometimes. So you're looking at something almost two inches lower than where you want to be. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, you miss something by one inch. That's how like that slam on that's life. The cover of that video while I'm on my face. Yeah. yeah. All it takes is, you know, miss a pop by, you know, half an inch because you just gauged it wrong. Oh yeah. yeah. Millimeters. Yeah. And sometimes and, the light isn't even good in the landing because they want it to be dramatic and you land and go into darkness and <laughs> so you're just like, okay, I just can't yeah. see anything. <laughs> but here's, here's something that I found interesting and I never noticed this, Corey, until we actually put all these clips together. You, in your video parts, you did a lot of like slam and then make the trick. Was that like a yep. conscious, like even for this video clip right here, we got the uh, um, 50-50. Like, oh, oh, dude. But then you do it. 
Yeah. Like, and that you did that a lot in your video parts. Like, did you consciously do that or was that something that I mean, he probably didn't slam on purpose but he probably edited it that's like, what yeah. i'm asking exactly right. exactly oh boy okay there's a good story behind this well not really a good story but uh jerron you're gonna be hyped on this name he's a, one of your your hit i think you might be his top you know three skip favorite skip of all time mm -hmm. but jt alts Oh, yeah. Ooh, gave him a board dude, yeah. Yeah. dude, I remember that. Yeah, that story was pretty fucking. When, so, he, when he brought that up, I, was, I had no idea that that was him that I gave a board to. Oh, mm. oh wow. no way! Yeah, like when he was a little kid, like he was just ripping at. I think he was at like Oak Park Elementary, random, and um, yeah, I was like, dude, keep ripping, bro. Like you know, you're, you're he, doing and thing. he did keep ripping. Yeah, yeah. that dude's yeah. gnarly. And then he brought that up in an interview, I think, a little while back. Amazing, no way. Yeah. that's sick. So, so JT, if he's watching this right now, he's already known. He's shaking his head. We text. He actually texted me last week. We were watching um the Life Aquatic over here at this household, and JT and I both watched that movie in Australia in 2004 when it came out because we were both injured. Mine from this slam, and the next day he got karma and he broke. <laughs> he actually had karma. A kid at the skate park cut him off, and he crashed into a hubba and tore his rotator cuff. Oh. But. So that stupid 50-50, I did that first go, and so I, the clips are actually reversed. I made I made it, and I, so I 50 50 it. Okay. And JT was like, hey, that's so easy. You should 5-0 it. Oh. And I was like, dude, this is stuck. It's made of stucco. I was like, I don't trust it. I was, like, I, I was like, I really don't like this thing. He's like, dude, you just did it so easy. You should try it again. I was like, fuck. Oh, I was like, fuck. I'm going to just, maybe I'll try to grind it one more time just to get used to it. I can't oh. remember if I tried the 5 0 or the 50 50. Well, oh, that's why I was looking right now at it. I was trying to see if you were actually man. trying to get into 5 0 or right. 50. It looks like you could have tried, but you kind but of slowed down. It looks like it kind of gripped you, too. Like, I don't yeah. know. It, totally. So that thing is made of stucco, and I was like a little bit shook up. I was like, okay, it worked. Oh. First go, cool, bitching. And he's like, no, you got it. You got to just do it. I was like, okay, fine. And I want to say that fall right there is the only time where, uh, like, I mean, I want to, I think I was crying on the ground. Like, I think I actually had tears in my eyes and I felt like, you know, when like an animal is in like a quarter position curled up and ready to die. Mm, like, quarter position. Yeah. Jeez. I went in a corner, I crawled into a corner and just went and whimpered. And, and it was, this is like Sydney Harbor. So it's kind of gross over there. It's a piss corner. Mm, like, mm. and I'm just crawled up, curled up, ready to die in the, the piss corner. You know, like, just like making, you know, weird whimpering noises. Jeez, um, dude. <laughs> day of my 21st birthday as well. So I just turned 21 in Australia. Fuck. And what? JT's like, oh my gosh, you just got fucked up. I'm like, yeah, I gotta go to the hospital. It's like, something's wrong. Um, so I get dropped off at the hosp hospital in Sydney. And I'm like, okay, so I already have one broken arm. And when I fell... That cast went underneath my rib cage, oh. and somehow my ribs I don't know if it's the thumb broke my ribs or my ribs broke my thumb, but either way, I managed to break two ribs and my thumb that was already in the cast. Oh, and geez. when the left hand hit the ground, that broke my other wrist. So now I'm in Australia for two weeks with two broken arms, three broken ribs. And I still have a bunch of demos to skate. And I was like, oh, jeez, oh, Lord, dude. So, yeah, I can remember actually, like, oh, I think it's the only time I've cried to my mom, you know, like having tears in my eyes on the on the telephone in the hospital. You know, I did the collect call. Just like, mom, I'm hurt pretty bad. This sucks, you know, but it's horrible. And you're in a different it, country. It, it's scary. Yeah, I was Damn. 21. Like yeah. at the time, you know, you, you, you're not going to admit to anybody. Oh, I cried. But now I'm like, yeah, guess what? Well, yeah, Escape there's a lot of aspects, tough, but the fall itself yeah. is gnarly. But the oh fact you're God. out of the country, yeah. you're, you're like you already no. had a broken arm, and yeah. you broke your thumb, and then your other wrist, like gee, come and then you don't have the problem. comforts of yeah of home. So exactly. you can just kind of lean. I would have called you know, and family. cried to Jerron, like not alone <laughs> my mom. I would have like you know. I would have comforted you. Buddy. Thank you, bro. I yeah, appreciate. I would have helped you out. Got your lunch and all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, that's so I gnarly. don't think people realize the emotion evolves with injury sometimes unless you've been there. It's not always the fact that it's the actual pain. Mm -hmm. It's you knowing or not knowing what's about to happen. Yes. You somewhere else, you're like, how am I going to be affected? Here I am in Australia for my second time. 
and I have a chance to skate, I want to film a video part, I want to shoot photos, I'm letting everybody down, I'm out here with a sponsor, there's going to be thousands of kids, you know, at demos, yeah. and I can't be there for them now, so, like, all the, all of a sudden, it's just, like, the world comes collapsing down, you know, like, you don't, you don't realize how this actually means nothing, but it means so much to us, because this is our shot at making something happen, somebody took you halfway around the world, or all the way around the world, totally, and you know, as much as we want to say it's not a job, it is a job and it's something that means the world to me, skateboarding. Yeah. And so it's what I want to do. And so all of a sudden you go to the demo and you show up like fucking looking like a zombie boy, you know, like, <laughs> oh, I'm fucked. I right. can't move. I can't, I can't even wipe my ass or whatever. And you're like, and Wait, kids don't get that. that. They're I like, know. Stuff man's here. Why aren't you skating? You're like, I can't. I can't even breathe, man. <laughs> Dude. I, got broke, I got broken thumb. Too hard. Like, I, just, I can't breathe. <laughs> Shit. But Dude, you can. That's. But the you case. can interact with the kids, and th yeah, that's yeah. a that's a plus. Well, luckily at that point you were pretty well known. But dude, some people, if it was earlier on in your career, you could have gotten like just let go. Yeah, of Yeah, this is totally. from Cataclysmic Abyss. So then JT, <laughs> fucking JT, man, poor guy. So he gets hurt on that trip. He tears his rotator cuff two days later. So then the next two day, like the next two weeks in Australia, him and I are just, you know, injured together, hanging on beaches, doing all sorts of weird hijinks and having fun. But we saw Life Aquatic, and that was that's like a fun memory. It's a good movie. Oh, yeah. wow. He bobs in because he's got a sling, I got a sling. We go to a kebab shop. He's putting, you know, beer in his kebab, in his sling. <laughs> I have a kebab here, you know, donor kebab, whatever we call those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we watch Life Aquatic. And last week, there's this section where there's the sugar crabs, they're called. And you see one of the crabs grab the other crab's leg. It's like, yoink. So I just text the photo to JT. And I'm like, yoink. And instantly, you know, he's busting up. And he's like, I still feel so bad. Man, he goes, why did I tell you that trick? He goes, I fucking feel bad. And that was 15 years ago. You know, crazy. Years ago. Damn, yeah. dude. And we, but you know, it stays, it stays with you. You know, yeah. if I told dubs to do something and he got extremely hurt, I'd, just, I'd feel bad to this day. And I would feel bad too. Yeah. <laughs> dude. <laughs> but this is all this stuff, a but, part of skateboarding that you don't see in the video. That's no, totally. Insane. You just see him slam. You don't know. Like I thought, man, he has a lot of slams and then makes. I'm like, this guy's resilient. Yeah, like, uh, He's slamming and then getting up and making the trick. Totally, yeah. <laughs> like, that's how you uh, viewers look at it. Totally. Usually it is that way. So a lot of times, first try, I typically like to commit to something. Like I said, it's mm. options. And so usually first try, it's either a make or it's just, okay. bam. Okay, what about, what about this one? This one. Oh, gosh. Mm. God. Did you get up and do it after? <laughs> Yeah, so that's, I think, so that was with Sue Tran and Jason Hernandez. Oh, sick. I drove from San Diego with my buddy Jeff um, two hours to LA, and it's like 2 a.m., whatever. We get to this rail. I 50 50 at first go, and I was like, cool, I'm, I'm hyped. That was, that was fun. That felt nice. And Jay Hearn, fuck, man, Jason was like, he really likes to bring the best out of people or maybe the worst, I guess, because sometimes, you know, you die. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, he wants the best. Up. Yeah, you know what you're saying. And he's like, no, you got a 5-0. Mm. I'm like, Dude, I don't know. I got these shoes on. The scene's called the America Heretics. Oh, they were terrible. Like, <laughs> like America's I love, but I wasn't skating the heretic at the time. It was just this weird soul. And my always... You know when your front foot feels like it doesn't connect and you yeah. almost do one foot always? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It's disconnected it's from like, your board for sure, yeah. Yeah, like I can remember like, dude, these shoes aren't right. They're, I couldn't remember if they were too small or too big. But I took the insoles out because I was like, I just don't like these shoes. I was like, fine, whatever. I'll try it one time. I'll, I'll, I'll just five out right here. If it gets you guys to shut up and to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. Uh, that's like, awesome. I'm 18, you know, like in, what kids don't realize now too, like you said, when you, you try to kind of come up, you try to prove something in a weird way. And I wish I knew how to say, no, I'm not mm. feeling comfortable right now. Right. But those words are actually hard to say saying no. And people don't always understand the word no. True. So, so I have, you know, four people being like, Sue, my buddy Hans, Jeff, and Jason, like, no, come on. Don't be a pussy. Just fucking do it. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. That slam happens. I'm like, huh. I think I just go, fuck. 
<laughs> and Sam elbow, broke my elbow and Ren was knocked out of me. I was like, and so that slam is the reason why. No way. Dad, you can't lock. Really? Wow. Huh? Wait, wait. Did it, you get up and do it after? Or? I the next try. She said, okay, fuck you. Let's oh, just fuck. Fuck. You did the 5 0 next try after you broke your elbow and got the wind knocked out of you? Yeah, so it worked next go. And then I think we got burritos and drove straight back to San Diego. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Amazing. You sleep on someone, you know, and sleep on a hardwood floor <laughs> somewhere, you know, just like. Fuck, I'm dying, but I got a trick. Yeah, baby. A broken shit. elbow on a wooden floor. Did you go to the hospital? No, not for a couple of days. I think is I waited for the end of the trip. I was down in San Diego for about another week. So just kept skating and then went back after. And there's something like the radio head had a crack through it. Wow, dude. I can't believe that. Dude, yeah. these stories behind Listen, the clips are I thought we were just gonna breeze through these clips real quick, but this is fascinating. <laughs> I, I this is insane. What a better time to bring this up now. Way yeah. more than Perfect, I expected, dude. man, and I love it. But let's yeah. let's, let's just has a has a story, right? Bro, let's not focus on the slams, but although it is fascinating and you've lived through them and you tell the story today, but you know, there's clips of the uh like the Stanford uh five O. Pop shove Pop Shove at five O. That mm -hmm. hubba, I've been there. It's massive. It is. Yeah, and that's an yeah. awkward ass trick down Fuck a big hubba. Yeah, what I like the most are those gloves and the hole on the pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's your favorite part of the clip. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and what was cool, <laughs> you know, fingerless leather gloves, you know, and then when I see MJ wearing one, I was like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was a cool one. It one of those things that worked out first try, and I was amazing. Wow. First Very try. Dope. I love it, dude. That was first but, try? Yeah, it was first go. But here's the thing that kind of, like, I look at it now, like, remember there was a time in, like, skating all the way up until, like, recent years? You couldn't like self applaud yourself or like show emotion that you were happy to do something. Mm -hmm. You just kind of roll away, like, yeah, 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 Penny, yeah, yeah. Uh, But hold on, I'm not comparing myself to Tom Penny because we all know that doesn't happen. But <laughs> yeah. you know, just had that thing you had to like almost pretend you weren't stoked if you were doing something big because if you were to be like, yeah, you look like a kook. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. That felt good. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, baby. You'd be like. Fucking Mark ass bitch. What you say? <laughs> <laughs> like, you had it be like, mm -hmm. so yeah. I go the way, like, no big deal. Yeah, I just did that shit. I mean, first try. Yeah. Did you even 50 50 it or 5 0 it or anything? You know, pop shove 50 50 on it first, and that, I think that was first or second go. Okay. Wow. Dan Z, who was shooting, was like, fuck, we, we're good. And I was like, no, I think I could do it to, to the 5 0. And wow. That's it such, out, it such a fun. tough trick. Bro. Yeah, you wow. hardly see. I've only seen. Who was it? Jeremy Ray did that in Hubba, like back in the day. I believe so. Oh, and that right. was like the only <laughs> one I ever remember, other than yours. I yeah. was like, dude, that would. That's not anybody's you know, go-to. I tell you that, man. I was skating with my buddy Cameron, and Cam always got me hyped up, and my brother was filming. So when you have that right crew who you connect with, mm -hmm. she just kind of works out. It's so, magical. Yeah. Yes. It's magical. It is magical. Damn, well, that's yeah. awesome, dude. Look, what about this one, bro? This is fun. I hope you don't mind, Corey. This is fun, dude. Okay. And then here's a here's one for, our, for the Felper with that 5-0. Mm -hmm. He saw the sequence and he was like, sick hill drag, bro. I was like, No. Oh, no I way. Was like, yeah. I think it was fucking legit, homie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can remember him talking shit on that back. Sick hill drag. I'm like, motherfucker. God damn you, man. Oh. Ain't no hill drag on that. No cigarette foot. No. Hey, it looked clean to me. Yeah, it looked it good. Yeah. Look clean to me, man. Yeah, sure. What about this? This Ollie. Damn. Look at that. I've never pushed so fast in my life, Corey. You know? <laughs> I can't imagine Once that. again, what's nice about that one is the Mickey and Minnie Mouse t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> cuddling next to each other. That's pretty cute. He loves his clothes <laughs> more than the clip. It's, I do. It's the Levi's um, Stay Pressed Pants. You know, the cowboy fit with the white Levi's jacket. Mm -hmm. I like that. But that was a interesting day. So we showed up there and Ed Dominic goes, hey, I got a spot I want to show you. And it's like, okay, sure, whatever. Because during these times when I would fly down to San Diego, it was like I'd show up for a couple days 
and I would just get brought to spots. Mm -hmm. It was not really skateboarding the way like I kind of necessarily wanted to skate. It was more like, we're going to bring you to some spots to fucking attack it, and you're going to make some shit happen. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, cool, whatever. And so we end up at this thing. And I'm like, huh, yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> I was like, Canton <laughs> Russell had tried it before too. So oh. for anybody- Oh, Canton to- Russell tried yeah. that? Oh, wow. And so Canton stuck on it. And I remember asking Ed, being like, hey, this is Canton's spot. Because you know, like there was unwritten law or not unwritten. It was a fucking actual law. <laughs> if you, you did not go skate somebody else's spot. It's true. You didn't yeah. do somebody else's trick. That's the way skateboarding was. And I'm getting upset now because this is why skateboarding is kind of goofy sometimes now. It lacks that respect for mm. elders elders or other skateboarders. Like yeah. like on a foundation trip, I could not front feeble something because that was my homeboy Daniel Shimizu's trick. If I front feeble something, it'd be like, <laughs> you know, like that's crazy. Well, that's you're probably- just you're taking away from his go to to get maybe get a clip, right? But that's like- weird. I never heard of that, like a certain trick. Like I guess that was such back then that would happen back then, but yeah, you, you gotta know? ask me. Hey, can I try that with you? <laughs> <You're> like, like <laughs> not. Enough. It's one thing you were trying the same trick, the same spot, right? But just like that trick in general is mm. like I don't know. Yeah, it, it would be like this guy right here, Mister Ethan. Who's Ethan. sorry, I got props over here. I got Hello, Ethan. Yeah, there's Haller. a photo of me in my own house. It's it's adorable, but um, amazing. That's me and Ethan on our first trip and my first trip in Europe. I'm 17, and he's obviously my idol, my hero. Um, that's I'm, a sick yeah. photo. So, Sean Cronin. Okay, Amazing. hey Sean or uh, Jerron, didn't you grow up with him? Yeah, for a quick portion. Um, you know, uh, we we definitely me Weston and him. We had a good probably a good year and a half of oh, which rad. seemed like forever. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. That's that valley. Yeah, that was a valley life. Yeah, but uh, Ethan was uh, definitely a part of the crew for a little bit, and then he he moved away. Hmm. So, but you, certain guys had their tricks. Ethan had back lips, and if he wanted to do a trick, he would be like, young but you know, like, Corey, sit down. And you were like, all right, cool. And that was actually fun, because then you got to watch your hero actually do his fucking superpower move. You That's know, like, true. And now kids sometimes, they don't even give you that option. Like, if as me as the old guy, if I want to skate, they've already, you know, blasted, you know, fucking tag team that blazed through it you know destroyed it <laughs> not even out. thinking about and, it right no and you're like hey you know what so just because you could do 360 flip back tail kick flip thingamajiggy out whatever <laughs> yeah. you know, my might have been pretty fucking sick you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know just because it's easy for you doesn't mean it's easy for this body and doesn't mean somebody else isn't gonna want to see it too that's true so, right you know Switch flip manual. We also got fake you tray manual on the other side. What's is one better than the other? Yeah. Oh, all no, day no, no. Every, no, it's, <laughs> Well, no, it's funny. But it's funny how over time, you know what I mean? Like switch flip manual back then, you're like, holy fuck, that was. It's a time period it, it, as well. Yeah. Right? It's, it's, it's a time period. It's still it. pretty rad now. Hell yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, yeah. Hell right. yeah. yeah. Thank we'll we'll yeah. get back yeah. to this all in one second with Canton Russ and all that. Oh, yeah, Think please. Wallenberg, if. You did a mute grab down Wallenberg, how Gons the front side grab down it. Mm-hmm. Shane O'Neill and Ollie Back kills it. Is Nolly Back kill harder or better? Because could if you reversed it, could Shane front side grab Wallenberg or would he want to? So like you have to kind of, like skip his word like that. Yeah, you know, no, yeah. Absolutely. Technically this is a harder trick. Does it make it harder for that individual or whatever, you know? Yeah. It's kind of bizarre sometimes. And time yeah. periods too, you know? Yeah. Shane O'Neill uh, couldn't, you know, he wasn't even born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Probably, so now yeah. back to the Canton spot. Oh, yeah. I look at it, I'm like, Canton tried it. Um, he's going to do it, right? That's like, he just knew not to step on some people's toes. Totally. Canton's a legend. He was somebody, you know, I looked up to as a kid. Backsmith, backsmith flips, evil. All a thick, thick, massive, massive things, mm-hmm. and so and it's like, nah. I talked to him. He said it's all good. You go after it. And really this amazing. That's cool. Got the guy ahead. Shockish, yeah. He's like shockish, and they're like, no, no, it's all good. Just fucking go for it. I was like, ah, I'm, I'm not. I was like, I'll look at it, whatever. Damn, shockish <laughs> was, was like, rad. By the way, rest in peace, man. Mm-hmm. That dude was so fucking cool. Here it is. We're in October, so fuck. It's been six years now. Wow, crazy, was, crazy. Yeah. Then she passed away. Mm-hmm. And dude, so like that clip right there, there's mm-hmm. I would love to see 
you know, the, the other angle, he, there's another angle that Lance Conklin film that's never been seen. Mm. And Shock is has the tapes, or who at Shock is the estate now, I guess we would call it. Right. Tapes. So, mm. but he's like, no, no, it's all good. Just go for it. I was like, mm, wasn't really feeling it. And I can remember being like, hey, can I get the van keys or the car keys? I walked back to the van, got my board, I threw down and just pushed at it and went to Ollie it and didn't tell anybody I was going to try it. And I kicked out though. And I was like, huh? Yeah. It's like, I guess, yeah, we could probably do this. And Ed Dominic was like, I'll buy you a shock. This one was like, I'll get you a California burrito. If you make it, I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> and so I walked back up, stuck on the next one. I was like, fuck. And then third go, it worked. And Alex Lewandowski, he's actually the one filming the bottom angle he just pulled out his camera because he happened to be the Mark Gutterman that day. And and another Valley guy, Fabian. Uh, but Mark was out there to meet the 88 shoot team. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Real, Fabian, was it Fabian Gosen? Yeah, you know. That, that's that's Orange County. That's my boy growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's tight as fuck. All right. Sorry. I had to interrupt that real quick. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> you got to interrupt. I talk too much, you know. No, no, no you're no, good. I just wanted, great, yeah, bro. Just make sure. Uh, um. So Alex is down there filming, you know, and I hadn't met him yet. So he was like, I, I don't think I even met Mark or Alex or Fabian yet. They were at the spot and they showed up and Alex, I guess he said, he's like, I could see in your eyes, you were just going to do it. He's like, when you said, let me see the keys. And so he's down there filming. And after I can remember like, I hope I didn't offend you that I filmed it. I was like, no, oh, that's cool. Whatever. Like not even thinking about it. Like when I roll away, I could still remember like rolling away and just going like, I hate, I actually really don't like that clip whatsoever. Oh. Because when I walk through the grass, my arms go up for balance and it makes me feel like I'm going, okay, oh. let's go. Oh. Like you're celebrating. And, yeah. Yeah. And so it's always actually bothered me. And that's why I didn't use this as my last trick because I hate the fact that it looked like I was putting my arms up in the air where it's just balance. Right. Uh, I never even noticed that or even thought about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. But I wouldn't even then, thought that. Another reason I don't like that clip. I mean, we're all just judgmental about our own sure. skateboarding. My brother, Kevin, comes on to frame to give me a hug. I don't hug him back. I was just like, oh, that's cool. Oh, no. And I didn't celebrate with my brother or my friends. I just did something. It was like, fuck, can we just like leave the spot now? Because I actually didn't really want to skate to begin with. It's wow. Canton's spot. I'm doing this for a burrito more just get my phone <laughs> shut up. And the first time I kicked out, I got this fucking heel bruise so bad. I was like, dude, I was like, I got it. Like, you got to just do this. My heel hurts bad. And then the following day, my brother Kevin and I met my parents at Disneyland. And I'm walking around in my cowboy boots or whatever. And I'm limping the whole time because my heel hurts so bad. So I'm like, that fucking double set destroyed my time at Disneyland. I was more upset about that than being like, I don't even know what it is, a 10, 10 or whatever. That's a 20 yeah. stair with a gap in the middle, dude. Bro, and right. it's funny because you weren't even like stoked. It, and that's what... But I mean, I, I guess I've gone through it too, where you want to land something just the way you want to do it. Yeah. You get the trick. Mm, you're not really happy, but that's the last time you're going to do it. It'll probably go in the video. Well, how much yeah. how much enjoyment do you get when there's a patch of grass after? Like you just land it and it's just like I done. Mean, that's true too. Yeah. Like that's like not very <laughs> cool either. Like I would be at least he rolled in the grass for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like you would have rolled forever after that one. Yeah, like that was the amount of adrenaline going through your body, and then you're just like in the grass stop. Wait a minute. So did you ever talk to Canton about it after? On Instagram recently, somebody reposted the clip. You know, like one of the biggest ollies or something, and someone tagged me and I was like, so I tagged Canton on it being like, this is actually the Canton Russell double set. This is not my double set. This is Chula Vista. This is Tommy Sandoval land and Canton's double set. Wow. I just happened to get there and I was told Canton gave me the okay. And it turns out he didn't give me the okay. And this is only two months ago. And it was just like, <laughs> didn't give you the like, okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, he just poured a liquid just, death on himself. It's like <laughs> fucking rad, man. Now I'm like sitting here in a piss. It feels like, <laughs> But just, I'm getting drunk off water, man. So they but, told you it was he gave you the oh, because they just wanted you to do the trick, yeah, basically. regardless. So mm -hmm. basically, you found out recently yeah. that 
he never gave the okay. He had been bamboozled. You been bamboozled. Yeah, exactly. I, wow. I got fandangled. I hey, got if bamboozled. you didn't know, it's all good. Yeah. It's all and good. It's hey, at least you gave the respect, hard. though. Yeah. But, you know, weird things like that are weird in skateboarding that yeah. most people never know. Every trick has a story. So That's true. So keep going on with these. What other clips we got? Hey, speak. This is amazing. I love this, bro. But we, we saw this clip and we were like, how good is this hard flip, dude? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. That's like, I don't ever see you do hard flips too often, but that was like flipped awesome. So that I, was insane. Yeah. That was a front that. shove and kick flip straight up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> look at this. And I can tell you, back in the 90s, I got made fun of for doing my, or even like early 2000s for doing hard flips that way. Like, really? Hard flips. I can see Those that. Those are fucking legit. Bro. I remember seeing uh, Carol do it like that. Mm. For, and I, like, in like later 2000s and being mm. like, well, what was that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it was something different. And yeah, no one did it like that. Well, especially thing. in a video part and just you're, you're watching it and it just plays through. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I got to read. What the hell? Yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that was... Tallahassee, Florida, just on a trip and just having a good time. Dave Wang's like, hey, do one of those hard flips you got. I was like, okay, cool. He's like, you should really show that you know how to flip trick or flip tricks. What's the, I don't know what we call it. I could do the flip of these, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because people no. forget I started skateboarding in 1994. Guess what? That was time of like 20 shot. Um, yeah. M and Eric's, all the fucking golden videos of those totally. times. Mm -hmm. Mouse. My man Jerome right here, as you guys keep calling him dubs, you know, like yeah, yeah. opening part, there. baby. There are hill flips, backside hill flips. Who are who are my heroes doing all the flip tricks? Dude, so, my favorite one of my favorite clips in that part is when you switch back nose grind to Venice Bay and you're like you're like, oh you start screaming afterward. I'm like, dude, it looks just fucking so annoying. <laughs> That's so sick. Because you didn't, because I didn't do it the way I wanted to do it, but at the same time, it was still <laughs> acceptable to me. Yeah, dude, know? it was so dope. Dude. That got me so <laughs> hyped. Good anyway, true. sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> Good. I want to hear more about it, but you know, you grew up skating with ninety four as well, right, Kelly? Ninety five. Ninety five. That's what you did. You learned how to flip your board, or whatever. Yeah. Because if you didn't, you were a kook. Like if I did my, you know, certain tricks, I was like. Um, yeah, that's pretty whack. Or we know what terms that would have said back then, but we don't say those words anymore. Yeah. But you know, well, dude, when you learned hard flips back then, I learned hard flips initially, like straight through the legs. That was the way to do it. I, right. there, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, that was it. And then when you start seeing this, you're like, whoa, what? What is that? That's different. And then people are like, it's different. This guy's a kook. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's all. Like, I remember having like. I, I learned flip tricks. And so Dave Wang's like, you should show some of those, you know, flippities that you know how to do mm -hmm. because you have proper ones. And I was like, okay. Cause there's also like a nollie inward heel flip and people are like, you know how to do that? I'm like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> sure. God, I, I've been skating a long time. I learned how to do tricks, yeah. you know? Yeah. And here's another flippity <laughs> down a double, down a triple set. A little flippity. That's a good, that was a good right one. There. Yeah. That was, Jesus. dude. That's still gnarly this day, bro. Hell yeah, Sack Chipple said this shit's oh, legit, man. bro. That was actually, you know, two days ago. You see the hair? That's like yeah. recent time. <laughs> I know. Wow. Your knee's looking great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And half, the hip, half, too. Yeah. Half cat. Yeah, that, that's what I actually do like. You know, I'm not going to say, oh, that one sucks, you know. I'm, I'm like, that was a that was a cool day. I fake you flipped the big gap in Sacramento at like the, the two towers first. It's this big grass mm. gap. Mm. Well, that Marcus McBride did the nolly over. Yeah. Yep. Mike Mose. Oh, damn. So I did the fakey kickflip on that gap, and then. Well, is that the one Chris that Mike most was frontside front flip? Yeah. 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 Oh, you fakey flip that? That's gnarly. Huh? That shit is huge, bro. What the hell? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and the hardest part was pushing the switch at it. You know, I was like, do I go switch Mongo or do I push, you know, normal switch? <laughs> dude, oh, that's my God. So oh, rad, dude. dude. I don't remember that. I'm sorry, but that's really sick. It was one of those days where a couple tricks worked out and having fun with my brother and Chris Ray and once, you, once again, my buddy Cam. And so did the fakie flip a couple of tries and Chris goes, should we go to the triple set? And I was like, sure, whatever. Wow. And that worked, I think in a couple, you know, two or three goes. And wow. I kind of like how it looks like I just rolled off a curb and it's kind of like, oh, that was easy. <laughs> you kind of <laughs> rolled, yeah. Arms, look yeah. at this, he lands and he's just 
You knew, no, you knew you were gonna land that. That was yeah. that's how I that is. Ron Steez without the Steez, but like the <laughs> low end knees. No, oh my goodness. But dude, bro. You, that's such like a hard trick to like push, like to gap mm. out on something. You know what I mean? Like very rarely you just have to seen, go fast. Yeah, that's what well, I can remember with it. You've been to that spot, Kelly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I never skated it, but I've been there. Well, I can remember at the time was where it's the car van going fake you front side. Cause mm-hmm, yeah. I'd stuck on down Carlsbad around the same time as this too. Oh, and wow. same thing. I didn't like how being goofy for the carving in a certain way when you thrown one way, it feels like it's alley oop almost. You know. Yeah, it's, yeah you're so, coming in from a parking lot, right? You come in from a parking lot and up and up a little straight. ramp. It's not straight, so you have to angle like he's saying. Yeah, you carve into it. So it either feels like you're going to go towards the rail or you're going to land 90 maybe. Mm-hmm. I can, and watch, I can remember like not being able to like open the shoulders up the way I wanted to. And that's how Carl's bat was too. Like I could land on them, but I couldn't, well, it didn't feel right because I couldn't get the right angle. But that one worked out and yeah. it's pretty cool. Well, here, let's do, let's just do a couple more because this is great. But we yeah. also want to talk to talk to you about uh, stuff. But here's one okay. that I, I thought was rad. It was the the UC Davis gap, 180, but you cleared it by a lot. Dude, that thing is. <laughs> that was one of those spots. I'll just say, like when I went there, you're like, oh my god, what? Yeah, dude? I didn't even realize it was a gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way to look. There's no reason to think. It's no a gap. reason. Yeah. No, not at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was pretty stoked on that one. Um, I like the yellow card again. Once again, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. um, I what I that. don't like are those fucking Osiris vulcanized shoes. Those things mm. really hurt my feet. And so jumping on a gap in vulcanized shoes, I don't know why people do it. But it doesn't feel what it doesn't feel good, you know? Mm-mm. Not for me, but what that does, was just one day. All, like, all the homies were there, and we went there, and Landy shot it. As usual, because we're in Landy's zone. Oh, yeah. You show up at Davis, you don't call Jeff. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Got problems. Yeah. Got Wait, problems. So is this before people had started skating it? Like like yeah. Reynolds kick flipped it and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah, it's 2006. And I remember hearing a story being like, Duffel, when they did it, I could kick flip it. Oh. <laughs> and, and then I also heard the story, too, going, Desenzo stuck frontside flips down it. And he got the call going, don't do that because you're going to be, you know, like, don't do that because so-and-so wants to kickflip it. Oh. Am I starting internet beef? Interesting. Oh. No, but, oh, hey, you, you know go. what? Regardless if it happened or not, that's something that so would happen back then. Oh, yeah. That totally yeah. would right. just something that would so happen. Can, you, can we get, like, the lifeline call? Hello, operator. Can you call Chris Ray? We need a Ryan to send. I know. We need to. Uh... God, we have so many things we need to implement in this show. But that's, but, uh, yeah. that's how you got shine back then, man. Like, it's not like that anymore. Well, it's through the grapevine, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. but like you had to do yeah. those tricks to get you to that next level. Yeah. Now it's like, go ahead and do whatever you want to do, some, wherever you want to do it. Yep. You know, but it, that's that's crazy, man. No, it's so, now. Yeah. At that time, Jamie Thomas ollied it in, mm-hmm. you know, a few years before in on video or whatever. And I was there skating with... um. Lakai guys, well, when they were filming for Fully Flared, and Mike was filming on this little tiny digital camera a lot back then, and we were skating the ledges up, up where the eight stair rail is, and Mike goofing off as we're walking back after. He's like, "You think you could all that gap?" I was like, "I don't know. I've never looked at it." I said, "Yeah, you ready?" And I threw down and ollied it for him, <laughs> and he was like, this "Guy's a beast." Whoa. What the fuck? You know, and guy came over, Eric's over there, like guys who like you know, I was pretty hyped to, you know, be skating with some of these guys. Yeah. And then you did it and they're like, You think you'd do anything else? And I was like, maybe. I just didn't really even think about it or really much care. It was just more like, Yeah, that was pretty fun. You know, that was definitely cool. Right. You know, it worked out and then I thought about it, you know. When I got home, I was like, maybe I should go back there. And that was one of like the only times I can remember actually planning out a trick. Hmm. Most of my, most of the tricks I've ever done have never been like thought about. I've never been like, you know, I want to skate this spot. You know. yeah. I, I don't skate famous spots, and that might be one of the only famous spots I've skated because I don't like to skate something that other people have skated or destination places. You know, or hmm. having to think about a move you're going to do somewhere. And then it just doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel right. Right. 
But I can remember thinking about that and like, oh, 180 might be kind of fun. So I called up Jeff Landy. I'm like, hey, I want to come to Davis and you want to maybe meet there. And I didn't tell him what I was going to do. I was like, I just have something in my mind. And I showed up. <laughs> I think it was Nuge slash a bunch of guys with nicknames, you know, <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of homies. There was a whole lot of us and they were all staying at my house that weekend. So I was like, you know what? It's been a fucking really cool week. We've got like a lot of tricks, whatever, having fun, a lot of records playing, just good times. I was like, and Slash was like, hey, I want to skate Davis as well. So I was like, okay. And I, I didn't really tell him. I was like, I think I might want to skate the gap. And so went ahead and did 180. And it, I think we're like third go maybe. So I was, I was stoked. Like, I don't want to mock that lie. I was, I was happy. I was like, damn, it worked. But I kicked out. And of course, the foot hurt. And I was right. like, you're stoked for like five minutes. And then when the adrenaline wears off and you're like, oh my gosh, my Jeez. heel is fucked. <laughs> you're like, well, is it worth it now? Like, I did this thing in the jiggy over here. I did this gap or whatever. That's something like that I kind of care about. But, you know, like, now I can't skate tomorrow or the next day. Right. Mm -hmm. But, hey, it's a clip. It's a moment in time, man. It's a, and it's a beast of a 180, I'll tell you. Hell yeah. Uh, That's crazy. I like that second angle, the, the Dave Wang um, tripod camera. That one? Uh, yeah. Because yeah. just like, woo, I, I just come out of nowhere and I caught some big air. It was a big jumpy. It's a big, nice, ah. I remember my episode. I, that was a that's a nice jumpy. A nice jumpy. What size tires were you riding back then? Probably fifty six. I oh, imagine fifty oh, six. Okay. Dude, Boy, I don't yeah. think that this, the gap looks big, but it doesn't even do it justice. It doesn't, but uh -huh. it's nice. No. You know, I know what he's saying though. It's a nice yeah. little camera angle. Yeah, it's a beast, I, man. It so, looks like when you look down, it looks like it's not. It can't clear it, right? It looks no, like it's right? so far. It's just like insane. I've stood up there, man. I was like, yeah. whoa. Like, what is Chris Roberts doing over there, dude? What is he <laughs> Just came to pay my respects to the gap, man. That's yeah, baby. Day, we're just looking. Yeah. We're just <laughs> checking it out. Just we're on tour. Dudes were skating the rails. Let's go check this gap out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what all the hubbub's about. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. I love that we could just go through clips and there's a story behind every single clip. That's that's like if I, is, I feel like if I watched yeah. some of my clips, like I wouldn't even remember half of them. First I was just of about all. to say he has a very vivid me memory about all these tricks, and but they, uh, they all are standout, gnarly tricks anyway. So they're gonna, you know, obviously stand out to some degree. But to have the actual backstory to all of them is pretty amazing. I do the same with my clips. I remember everything. Yeah, yeah but I don't even think that my clips would even have a substantial enough story. Like, yeah, we went to the spot and. I don't know. We went in and out after or something. I don't know. Like I wouldn't even. You couldn't get into the details. Like no like, details. Yeah, yeah, like there's yeah. nothing. Well, I fucking pulled up to the spot. I had no gas and you know, I <laughs> <Yeah>. jumped out. <laughs> fucking just hooked up my board. You know what I mean? It's totally. Like, <laughs> it's amazing yeah, though. I love it. It's hard because I can't remember, you know, two seconds ago what I said, you know, but then like I got like these cool shades and I can remember like, hey, I got these when I was like 13. I can remember skating like a half pipe wearing them, you know, like. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, got my Bob Nar shades on. <laughs> that's insane dude is it just sitting there in the record room because i put them on as a goof to like laugh occasionally just found them but okay you're speaking things. of the room though just like sidebar look at this yeah, fucking no. record collection it's fucking amazing <laughs> yeah, look at a, that a few things Okay, well, give a little. Oh my God! I'm skate by those two. I feel like. Um, are we allowed to yeah, move on the night dude. club? Of course, bro. Oh, I got the Carl Watson yeah, photo. That. We got dude. Carl. We got Tom Penny. We got Drake, who's my all-time favorite. Drake Jones. Yeah. Yes. Let me do the zoom here. I like that, man. More B A. Gons. Danny Sargent. Jeremy Klein. Fucking hot ass baby. Amazing. Man. We'll have to blur that. What a Here's me to, I have me on my wall again, but that's me on Cook Grind down at Hubba when I was 12. Not Sick. Wow. And so Carl Watson was there that day, and so was Drake. So wow. Okay. So there's a. I like that, man. You're, you're pretty there. big. You're, you're a big collector. Yes. You collect a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. Especially yeah. records. <laughs> I well, you know, yeah. That's obvious. Got the bar, Chef right. you know, like. Now that you could buy, you know, you know, some prints off some of these photographers of the stuff I had on my wall mm -hmm. as a kid, it's kind of cool to have them again, you know, to get the guys uh, to be able to look at them like, 
Yeah. Do you have like a prized possession? Like you buy a lot of stuff, you collect a lot of stuff. Is there like say you had to evacuate and you could take three things with you? Oh man, that's tough. Yeah, I can tell you two things. The only two things I probably really care to grab. My dog and Rachel, but it's okay. Be but Rachel and then the dog. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, stuff. loved ones, of course, yes. right? <laughs> of yeah. course, yeah. we want you to get out of there safe and sound. But in an That's inanimate object, what would you of those two? Yeah, it'd probably be like maybe just be like you know what, good riddance to everything, fresh start. Okay, I like I mean, your I attitude, man. You yeah. know what I mean? I kind of accept it because it's hard. Like when. You, I was, uh, these are all full of, you know, seven inches. Oh my goodness. And I like, I like singles a lot. Uh huh. And you know, the collection is probably worth, I don't know. Oh, it's definitely over like a hundred, you know, probably $200,000 worth of records, you know, from, this is not like something I just bought yeah. over, you know. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just this years. Is, no, yeah. 20, you know, nearly 25 years of buying records. But it, like, you know, to hell with all this. It's just yeah. a headache having stuff. I mean, it's, you can storm in my house if you want. If I, yeah. <laughs> when I die, I mean, who's going to take care of it all? It's like Rachel knows what it all is, but it's a burden to her, my brothers, whoever who has to take care of it. Like, yeah, but you're not like a hoarder, right? But it, it's oh. stuff that's that that means a lot to you. And hey, you're while you're alive, like, you, might well, as, you might as well. It looks enjoy organized. stuff. Yeah, it's organized. Too. And you, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I mean, there's like boards. There, if you went down the hall. Can we, there's stuff everywhere. I mean, you know, I I'm a borderline hoarder, but I know where everything is. And it's not like I have old TV guides and like fingernail clippings. <laughs> TV guides. <laughs> Listen, you're an organized hoarder, okay? TV uh, guides. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's great though. I love that. Again, you can, you should enjoy stuff, you know, if you, if that's your, if that's Tracy your. Chap I, yes, that's I, a great maybe album. Maybe I would take Tracy Chapman with me because I love this record so much. Mm -hmm. What a great might, album. That's like good memories. Because I'm not saying that's one of my favorites from being a kid. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's like, you, if the house is on fire, what are you going to really grab? You know, just like, just be thankful that you're alive. And, you know, right. Yeah. You no, know, it's interesting that you say that because, I mean, I grew up in, you know, a fire zone, right? Fires would kind of come through and every, you know, whatever it was, maybe a few times in my life, we've had to pack up the car because we're going to evacuate, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. ne never came to it. We had to evacuate. But when I was little, of course, I, I grabbed my PlayStation. I grabbed like the little things that I want, you know, I oh, needed. Yeah. But then as you get older, you know, and I think it was the most recent one. It was like, what are we going to grab? And we're like, nothing. Yeah. We'll just grab all the important documents and that's it because we don't really need all this stuff. Yeah. You know, you, you kind of put stuff into perspective the older sure. you get. Yeah, definitely. You know? yeah. And now he's grabbing like, yeah, stuff. The, okay, so if we're going to grab it, maybe I would bring, you know, because that's my first skate video, so that's kind of important. Wow. Which video Asian is that? Goddess. Hookups, Asian Goddess. Okay. I've never Six. even heard of that. First skate movie I ever saw and still have, so. Wow. That and like, you know, like photos, like you said, it's, the memories like my grandparents like right, stuff like right. that is sure cool. yeah yeah but then you're like oh, in the day yeah, yeah. well what do you really do because then you're gonna be like fuck man i grabbed the hookups video i could have grabbed my the dinosaur skull behind me but i didn't i grabbed the fucking... that, like yeah like should i maybe grab this guy you know like He's running out Look of the house. Thing. I know <laughs> with this with the alligator skull. Yeah, <laughs> running out of your. Yeah. yeah. Or is it like, or do you go ahead and be like, like, why do I even need this? Like, do I grab Drake and Jamie? Oh, that's, that's Jamie. a Why sick photo. Know? That's dope. Yeah, I mean, should we get another look? That's amazing. Yeah, that's the Pacific Drive. Even allow you to see orders right now. Sorry, is that copyrighted? Shit. No, you're good. <laughs> but how do you even know? I mean, obviously you're organized. So if I, you know, you know where all the records are if you wanted to play something. Yeah. Yeah. Alphabetical yeah, or you just have a... Like, so, I mean, it is definitely tough. Like if I was pull through, like what are we in right now? This would be like M, so my bloody Valentine. So that's like M-Y. And then after that would be straight to the ends because I don't have anything after M-Y. And then... So I know oh, I mean, yeah. gotcha. Okay. And, and is it is it all kinds of different music or is it like a certain genre? I would say it's all over the place, but you, for me personally, I, I'm very into like early punk music and then, mm. which then went to 
like new wave and then from there it turned into like the indie music and then alternative and then 90s it went to like shoegaze brit pop so i have a i like a bit of everything but then like all this stuff down here that's all jazz and oh. you know soul and funk Sick. And then these boxes over here those are just full of like um 12 inch um electronic singles so a lot of stuff like jungle music or acid house and Ooh. house stuff wow damn get fucking let's put our sunglasses back on there and you do go some, like you know <laughs> and then, but, is that your listening chair right there that you that you just is that your listening chair oh yeah this is that's definitely the lay down <laughs> dog and I'm just kind of enjoy it just relax definitely. you know what i'm saying yeah my collection's all over the place but right. i definitely have it's definitely more indie music and like rare stuff like i don't like a lot of the meat and potatoes i'm gonna call it like i don't need bob dylan records because actually fuck i don't even like bob dylan so why am i gonna okay, have right bob dylan in my collection yeah like fucking the hell with bob dylan you know <laughs> but then like we <laughs> tang 36 chambers yeah you need some classics you yeah, know sure like, there you go God, I could recite every lyric on that, man. From <laughs> beginning to end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Raw, I'm going to give it to you with no trick. So <laughs> let's talk about skating again. Let's talk about what's your, let's talk about your board setup. How about that? Oh, like, yeah. are you crazy with your board setup or are you very meticulous or not so? You're just well, whatever. Can we ask Jerron about his board setup? <laughs> I want to know, tight up. trucks, loose trucks, drawn. Um, I'm in between loose and tight. So it's like in the happy medium that works for me. I don't so really like track. So standards, they're very tight then. Yeah, oh, compared to compared to everybody else for sure. But they're not mm. like rock solid. But they're, like, no. You can turn. You no, can turn. I can turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can definitely turn. You yeah. know. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I can't so do the, that? was it Chris Cole? Yeah, Chris Cole. Oh, he's. Where his just, just, just fucking tight as shit. Right, yeah. right, right, right. And loose in the front so he can guide himself. I yeah. remember like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like mine kind of fast and loose, you know, but um it's so my board I don't really care. You don't it, care. Well, like I what size know. do you ride? I think it's about an eight five. It could be maybe now people are calling them like eight three eight. I don't know. I've never actually measured it. It's hmm. just a skateboard to me. Mm-hmm. As long as it works, I'm pretty happy, you know, like Do you like what what kind of boards are you riding? Or you just kinda of grab whatever or So right now, because after the so the dog just came. So I, I'm petting this invisible thing over here. It's actually the dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been on some welcome boards lately, and those are pretty cool. Sick. And, kinda, and those are fucked up shapes. I mean, yeah, crazy. Yeah. If you told me I was gonna ride some fucking thing before, I don't know what that sound effect was, but you know what they're talking. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they have yeah. so many uh, different shapes. Mm-hmm. It's wild. Like a, yeah. It's, and it's not like the '91. Um, you know, John Montesi shape or something, or it's not like the Jason Lee or the 89 Gons. It's like some fucking weird shit. Yeah. Sure. But it's different, kind of, yeah. It's kind of fun because then you're like, I've got to like figure out how to write this thing too. Mm. That makes skateboarding fun because I wrote the same board shape for, I don't know, like 18 years or something. Right. It's like, like, yeah, give me that. Yeah, that one works, whatever. Mm-hmm. And as far as like tires go, or I still call them tires, you know, two years <laughs> later, it's still the same. <laughs> I could ride whatever. They could be 52 to 57. Okay. But I think when I get back into skating after this, I've been thinking about it. I'm like, okay, because it's going to be six months off the board. I'm like, do I want to go for like uh, one of those like early 90s shapes with um, wow. some big tires, like something that just looks really cool? Or I'm like, you know, I kind of want to try to maybe go down the size even, maybe try like an eight inch with like some riser pads and like some 60 millimeter tires wow i don't know why i want some i want some narrow trucks too i don't want the wide ones i want like hmm. but on, yeah. on a big board on an eight yeah I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know i just wanted to do something where i'm like man skateboarding feels so terrible and so awful right now because i'm gonna feel so bad at skating anyways after not doing it for a few months it might be fun just to have it you know yeah at that point yeah. it doesn't matter as long as you can just roll at the beginning yeah. part it's all that matters yeah, mm-hmm. change the whole way you look at it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna try something different. Let's yeah. see how this works. I mean, just asking this question on this show, I've, I mean, I've come to discover kind of like all the seasoned veterans, so to speak, 
they, yeah. they, they don't care anymore about their board. Like they, everybody was so meticulous. Like when you were filming for like cataclysmic abyss and all this, like you probably had to have your setup, you know, a certain way. Oh. And now everybody's like, Oh, I do. Jamie Thomas is doing grip tape jobs and stuff. You know, I'm like, really chief, you're going to do in grip tape jobs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Uh, it's a fucking waste of my time with, you know, grip tape jobs. Boards break fast. Usually it's just like, I'm not, right. But what I I'm saying is, Oh, he's, he's so, taking yeah. the time to set up his, bored the way yeah. that he's going to enjoy it now yeah and it's not yeah, the jamie absolutely. thomas of old it's the passion behind no. the passion it's you know? passion behind the passion you know we got that you, like, know? you already know you already know you already know. <laughs> 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 so during those days yeah i wrote like an eight and a half inch board okay i like a very square nose i call it the shovel nose it was like my own custom shape that i was able to design for them and it was they didn't sell it because it was considered too weird of a shape for skate shops because eight and a half inches. And so they put all my boards on like seven, five, seven, seven, fives. Cause that was, was, was selling it sure. 2002 and up. Mm -hmm. And these skate shops were like, we don't want this board because it had a very old school type shape nose. I don't do much Nolly as we know. Like I was like, why do I need a normal nose? Okay. I like it very square and blunt. It just looked cool to me. And then I liked the tapered tail. Mm. And then as soon as they stopped making it, I was like, all right, whatever. I was like, can I get you guys to make it again? And they're like, oh, we lost the mold or something. I was like, okay, uh. whatever. And then so I moved on to something else. But I don't like concave too much. That's the only complaint I have. I like a, I think boards are kind of fun when they're flat. And mm. I like them when they kind of feel soggy and kind of shitty, to tell you the truth. Mm. Huh. Interesting. Um, when they're crispy, they break real fast, at least for me being a bit bigger. So when they're soggy, they already feel like shit. So who cares? You know, like <laughs> they absorb stuff yeah, better. Yeah, absorb the impacts better, huh? Yeah, and I just like an old bar. Just like old wheels, all that stuff is nice to me. Like yeah. The truck I have on and probably like a year and a half old. Mm -hmm. The same um, bone Swiss I've had on for probably like two years. Oh, wow. Because they, they still work. They still you know? work. I mean, yeah. I don't focus boards and you know, I've only focused maybe two handfuls of them. So like maybe nine and 10 boards, I think. Mm -hmm. And when I focused on one, I can remember like two years ago, I remember being upset and like, fuck, that was like number nine. Cause like, why would you take your anger out on your skateboard? This thing get, does nothing but gives you, you know, fun all day long. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to break it when there's like somebody else. Imagine if you were a kid, if JT Alt saw Jerron focus that board instead of him giving it to him, I mean, that's true. 26 years later, he'd go, Jerron Wilson, that guy was a fucking dick. <laughs> Even though Jerron's not a dick, but you yeah. would take it that way. And like, I could have used that skateboard. My that could have changed man. his direction yeah. of what he skated, too. He could have, like, maybe he might have never skated, you know? Totally. And he kept, he might have just given up on it. I don't no, know. he had the, he already had the drive. I could, I could totally <laughs> see that. Yeah, I could I'm definitely see that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For sure. But when you're in that like moment, that. you're you don't oh even know what God. to do. You're like you want to break your board, but you don't. And you're like, why? Am, you, what do you do with your anger? You yeah. know, yeah. like that's why I find it hilarious that someone throws their board so hard into the oh ground because it's like, what, what are you trying to get rid of here? And I used you know? to have a temper, Corey. I used to have a temper. I would break boards, throw boards, and then I would see other people do it, and I'm like, ooh, that's what I look like. Yeah. Like, ooh, yeah. like that's not a good look. Yeah. Not a good look. I've melted it's a bad down like that it's quite a few times. times. But it happens, right? Cataclysm of Abyss, too. I'm tomahawking my board, and I break a spot with it, too. And it's one of the only times I'm angry on film, and, you know, people think it's cool or whatever. And it does probably look cool, but I'm like, I wasn't even that mad. It was more I was just annoyed because I was like, this fucking stupid. It was like a French side wall and I'm like, this thing is not working. Fuck this spot. <laughs> and I broke the spot without thinking of it. And then it sucks because then... Now the spot's broken for everybody else. Yeah. How'd you, you know? break the spot? I just, you know, grabbed the... <laughs> oh, shit. I said Tomahawk. I said, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's in the intro of the movie, and it's just... I mean, maybe it's funny or cool to somebody, but, you know, there's some clips you look back at, and the ones like everyone likes, you're like, man, that sucks. But as you said before, we're our own worst critic, too, when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. You, know. you know what's crazy, too, is when you get upset while you're trying a trick... The fact that you can't land it is big, huge part, but then everyone's just watching you. Yeah. You have the photographer, they're shooting photos and videoing you. That's when you're just like, 
there's this there's this thing you can't even get out of you. It you starts you, eating. No, you you start feeling that pressure, and that pressure definitely starts to fester, yeah. and you start to get yeah. fucking angry. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. You know? and, and but that's the thing. You gotta harness that anger and turn it into like, fuck, I'm gonna fucking do this shit. Yeah, fuck everything else. You that's know? the hard part is learning how to deal with that part. Yeah, is putting your skateboarding in front of people and oh doing it. God. Like making it a production. Yeah, you start that, thinking about the the filmer this and the the photographer that and oh. Sometimes just I just like to like just go blank. I mean, it's really hard to be into that that mode. But that's when you start to produce. You're like, fuck, I just did it. Yeah, yeah. didn't he, wasn't even thinking about anything. wasn't thinking about the filmer. wasn't thinking about fucking photography. Did he get it? Like, no, we're fucking in the zone, and then boom, it just comes to life. Totally. Like, yeah, it's tough. I mean, and then. Kids, they don't really know that sometimes. Or I can remember another time being upset, and it sucks when you're upset internationally or on tour somewhere. Mm. And I mean, I, this is 2009, and I still have guilt towards this because I got upset at a demo. I mean, we showed up, and it was the fucking chocolate tour, and it was like the worst obstacles I've ever seen. <laughs> this is um Ecuador and why I kill. And so maybe to them, it was the sickest setup ever, you know, like some pros are coming and they're going to skate. Mm-hmm. And I can just remember having a, I was having a really hard time just at life during that. And sometimes, you know, people, skaters, they don't know what's going on with the skateboarder mm-hmm. because we're told this is your job. It's time for you to entertain. And you're like, motherfucker, I'm not crushed the clown. I didn't get into this too because I want to entertain people. I did because this is my escape from reality, my escape from, you know, alcoholism at my house, whatever. It's what you're trying to do to, you know, fight your own demons because you're already, you're struggling, you know, at life. And then showing up internationally, it's hot. Ecuador, it's fucking hot down there. <laughs> yeah. Summertime, August, you're like, this is whatever. I can't remember. It's on the other side of the equator. But whenever it was fucking summer, it was hot. <laughs> yeah. It was not fun. <laughs> show up worse than like just worse ramps i remember just dropping in hitting the metal that's sh- supposed to help you get up the ramp i just fucking get broke off mm. fall onto a rail whatever just got destroyed and like i said i was having a hard time long time girlfriend and i broke up so just just angry at things and myself and just had a lot on my mind i shouldn't have been on tour but she was like okay fine i have to go i need this paycheck or whatever Duff, man, we need you here. So you're like, cool. Do I really have to come? But you can't, if you say you're not going to go on tour and that you actually care about your mental health, if you said that to a sponsor, hey guys, you know, like mentally, I'm not feeling well right now, you would be kicked off your sponsor probably back then. Yeah. Now it's, let's give you a hug and it's we'll going to be okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What That's year was that? Academic, what year? 2000. 2000. Eight, 2009 2008 9 okay and back to remember after that slam came pissed i don't know if i focused my board or i just fucking threw it in the crowd and i remember like, ah, like you know just threw it hard fucking it probably almost it could have killed somebody in reality you know but you're just so mad you don't even think about it right and then i didn't skip the demo and here i'm in ecuador and there was a lot of fans there to see me and now i still remember being like fuck man that's how i showed up to ecuador I came over there as a fucking spoiled American asshole and I didn't do anything that well, I should have, you know, it's been a better person. Instead of even trying to skate, maybe just, you know, hung out, do something. But sometimes it's hard to wear that smile. Totally. Mm-hmm. You are hurting inside. For sure. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it yeah, happens, true, especially bro. traveling. And, you know, uh, I think we travel so much that I, I can't even remember, you know, France from Spain and this yeah. spot from this spot. Like, oh, where would you skate that? I don't even know where I was. Yeah. I don't know where yeah. that spot is. Yeah. Like, it becomes a blur. Mm-hmm. Straight up. Sorry, the dog is dropping. He's got like an ear infection. I just had to take his collar off because he's sitting here shaking. What's, shake the, dog. what's his name? Blexa. B-L-I-X-A. Blexa. Yeah, that's a name. Uh, okay. Let's get there, a little shot of her, bro. There. Hey. Hey. Look at that. How old, yeah. how, how old is that's, that's our buddy. How old is he? He is about two. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, he's okay. a puppy. Little pup. Because Rex, I got ta- my other dog's tattooed on here. I wanted a mom tattoo. She's like, fuck, no, don't get a mom tattoo. So I got my dogs instead, their name. <laughs> <laughs> but Rex, who I had for about 15 years, he passed away. Two, like about three three years ago oh, almost man, I'm half sorry. years ago and decided 
you know, we had to, you know, go rescue another dog. And at yeah. first I was like, I'll never want a dog again. Because when you lose them. Yeah, dude. It's tough. It is. Yeah, it's, it's tough. super tough. When you see a dog in a pound, you have to adopt them because right. you're like, they need a home. Yeah. I feel like sometimes animals, you can get more close to them than human beings. Totally. Yeah. And it, it can really devastate you when yeah. they pass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. All earth. And then for some reason, we people buy designer dogs. I'm like, why would you go spend you know, thousands of dollars on this, you know, fancy, you know, bred dog? I mean, there's all these cool dogs at the pound that need homes. Yeah. Totally. You know? And there's even yeah, like, sure. you know, special needs animals too. You totally. know, these animals yeah. that, uh, they need love. What, what, one, you know, they're missing a leg yeah, or an eye attention. or they need, you know, they yeah. need to help. Yeah. Watch, I've been chatting too much. So maybe get Should... to you guys for a minute. Okay. <laughs> Jerron, how was your day? Sorry, uh, guys. <laughs> watching i apologize <laughs> no this is all about yeah, you man yeah. and listen we're having fun dude this is yes, uh dude. this is seriously fun this is the first episode Corey, that we've actually had the skate clips and we could play oh. the sk skate <laughs> clip so we're like over the moon right now yeah, that dude. that we pull and more skate clips <laughs> apple skate clips yeah let's do it hey, an apple a day, <laughs> apple a day. but what you want to do another couple clips yeah, I would love to. I know Roger worked hard on the clips, and he's not here, so we got to do something for our man, Roger. He's, he's in another room, man. Oh, he's but, listening uh, and watching. He's loving oh, yeah. it right now. You, I know that. Okay, hey, so, here's one that yeah. we, we've we seen this over and over again. Never been there, but uh, always interesting, the Baldy yeah. spot. This is from Cataclysmic Abyss as well. Yeah. Uh, Kickflip. Now, that thing really looks dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that's the only... I, Flip tr flippity I've ever seen over that thing. And it looks, I like how it looks pretty, you know, nonchalant too. You know? yeah, yeah, right? Oh, Until you go there. <laughs> <laughs> Upland, baby. So what's cool about that one was, that was like, I was skating with someone like, some big dudes I really cared about. Um, Jason Adams, mm. Matt Mumford, Chet Childers was there. Mm. P-Stone is filming it. Right. So sick. I know yeah. shooting the photo right there. Manuel Guzman, Dan Pencil. Wow, so what a crew. It was, yeah. first, it was the first day of a Route 66 trip. We were driving a Cadillac from Santa Monica Pier to Graceland to go see, you know, the king. Yeah, so help us. I was, I don't know, 20, 22 probably, 23. So to be on a trip with guys who I looked up to so much is like, like fuck, this is cool. And we got there. And that, holy shit, man, that thing is scary. You've never been there? <laughs> I've never been there. Fuck, I've never been dude. there. It's nuts. It, yeah. it really, oh, really you've been nuts. there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. It's crazy. And that's the one you have to get over to skate the, the tranny, right? Yeah. That's what you uh -huh. have to get over to skate the... Yeah, the, yeah. the, the, big, the, the full, full pipe. pipe. Full pipe. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those spots you get anxiety when you're there. You know, like, when you're actually scared, you're like, if I get hurt, what's next? Mm. Like... Yeah, what do you, what's going to happen? Bob broke his leg doing the loop there, you know? Mm -hmm. How do you get out of that place with a broken leg? Right. Right. Like, and sometimes you think about that shit when you're skating. You shouldn't be, but you know, you get that anxiety. Mm -hmm. Worst like, case scenario. Something's going on, even though you're trying to be juiced up. And I was like, sick, we got Mumford here. Throw it all. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Mom looked at me. Mom's like, you got a kickflip, don't you? I was like, over one, he's like, kick up the gap. I was like, all right, sure. And so it was one of those things. Damn. Kick flipped it, you know, I think two or three goes and woo, that was fun. Hang out with the, the homies. Oh would you God. would you have tried that hadn't he asked you? No, nah, maybe not. Right. Because I wouldn't want to have been trying to show off, you know, because right. to do something like that in front of people is such a an arrogant thing to do as well, you mm -hmm. know? But when someone asks you to do something, then it feels like you're allowed to perform, I guess. Right, not, right. That's, I mean, that sounds terrible too. No, but, and that could be a, there's well, a personal thing, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I, I totally get it, it, and it's understandable for sure. Sometimes you don't want to be, yeah, too much. That dude, you know, yeah. yeah. You don't want to be that guy. Yeah. And, yeah. Coming it's up like to Baldy, it's all about me. Yeah, I don't, because I don't like skating with those type of guys myself or contest dudes when they're not even a contest guy, but you're like, cool, are you ever going to fucking stop? So yeah. I can give us a chance to skate too, or are you gonna just show off that you know how to do every move? Yeah. We know you're good. You have your name on the board, dude. Like, <laughs> well, that's what but, Vince Alvarez was saying. You know, he's like, "Yo, I just didn't want to. I felt I didn't want to like skate too hard." Yeah. And mm -hmm. this guy's like, "God, oh, this guy won't stop. What is yeah. this?" 
And so sometimes it was a lot like that because you you just didn't want to do too much. Like not that you want don't want to do too much, but you want to make sure you don't look like a jackass. Dude. You pace yourself. Uh, yeah. Like you want to get tricks. You want to yeah. sh- show a good side, yeah. but you don't want to go over the edge. You don't want to go over the top. You know. Yeah. And so when somebody's like, "You got it," it's like. I was waiting for you to ask. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do have it. That's, the, that's what's crazy about back then. You, it was so important that you got respect from your peers and the, your elders in that realm. That you, If you wanted to ride for for a girl, mm-hmm. you better get respect from Jerron and Ooh, everybody. And peers, yeah, no doubt. Now it's like, no. like <laughs> they, they probably don't even know who you are. Or yeah, something like that, you know majority what I mean? of the time. Especially if they just started skating. They're like two, fucking two years in, three years in. They're like, who the fuck is this old fucking guy? You know what I mean? I'll just like, go on my TikTok and do this and get my followers and right. blah, blah, yeah. It's like, it's, yeah. I'll start my own YouTube channel and start a company. It's just different, bro. Different times. Okay, we're going to side one here for this little, because um, I'm a dork and I watched a video yesterday that was cool. That new hockey video, that was sweet. Oh my God. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen it. it. Don't Dude, worry. that was the illest shit. I, that was the coolest shit I've seen in a long time. Well, I can't it just wait came, It just came out. Came out yesterday. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, Van England. He's a fucking beast. Are you kidding me? Everyone in that video, dude. Kevin Rodriguez, Aiden Mackey, the whole. Oh, yeah. yeah. That one to me was special. And the reason I'm going to bring that up real fast is because you're talking about TikTok and respect and this and that. And I can only remember one other time in my career of skateboarding, like me skating for so long when I've actually enjoyed watching a video like that actually changed the way I cared about what was going on. And that would have been like throw of it all mm. and Eastern Exposure. And this new video, it reminds me as if throw of it all and time code Lenny Kirk met and they collided <laughs> and they made this movie. Mm. And I think it's important because at the, that time and throw of it all came out, um, I'm now... 12 years old and not that I didn't love Kareem, Jerron, all the guys I looked up to as a kid, but I was looking for something different in skate, skating because we've seen day one kill the, the tables. We've seen everything. And then to see something kind of raw, crusty, fast, loud music, something that I actually was into. I was like, wow, there are others like me out there that aren't like anybody else that are going against the grain. And I thought that was so fucking cool back then because it wasn't seen at the time. Like, throw it all is something like maybe when you came out, I'm sure you guys were like, oh, whatever. But if you watched it now, you would be like, holy shit, to go out in 50 50 a curb when you have, you know, Mike Carroll doing some of the craziest shit out there, day one doing chafe up nose blunt on the picnic table. And then you're like, these guys are doing just some, you know, real like, gnarly crusty type stuff it's just a rail slide and so right now with skateboarding so much of it it's hard not to sound jaded or like a dick because i'm not one bit i love all skating it's cool but you see so much of it you're like okay you get desensitized you've seen it before here i am looking at it all day every day and then this thing came out i'm like wow this was neat it was fast it was raw it was shitty and it was badass, you know. Kevin was, Madrid, I love it. Cool. It wasn't even shitty. It was like I know what you mean by that. By like the, the quality, it made it the, they had a filter on it that you're like, oh, it looks super old school, like VHS, like type of thing. Mm-hmm. But dude, the the music in it, dude. I got when Van England's part came on, man. I got up, like I felt like the, they used like this orchestra music. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. And it was just like I was like Rocky. Yeah, I was yeah. like, yo, and That's it was dope. him. He's pushing down a hill, doing a switch tray, going fast as possible. It was just like, I can't, was, I can't wait. I'm going to yeah, watch this. It's, yeah, so I think it's a very important, you know, skateboard, you know, video right now because so much of it is clean and oversaturated and we've seen so much of it. So to see, you know, some underachievers kind of again, even though Abe is obviously the hero. So he reminds me of how Jamie Thomas wasn't the over at all. You had a fucking band of losers, but you had like, Jamie, who was leading this guy. You have Van England, who's clearly out there in the trenches making it happen still. You cannot diss on him because he's the real deal. And then you see these other guys he maybe some people want to shit on. But if I was a kid, I'd like Ben Cato, Kevin Rodriguez, Ada Mackey. These are my guys because they don't give a fuck either. And so to me, that was important because... Yeah. I haven't seen that in a long time. Now at 36, I'm like, 
wow, I'm inspired by some kids. It's amazing. Fuck yeah, Skip Wing Rules. It's finally hit that point where it's going back to like a part where I'm like, it's there's a small little thing of it happening again, like a little counterculture it felt like. Mm-hmm. Even though it's not full zero because these guys are making paychecks and off Supreme, so they're not sleeping on no little floors. It's not full throw at all, but it's got that rawness to it and I thought it was something real special. Yeah, so watch it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, sold me. Yeah, I'm gonna go watch it. Aiden Mackey, yeah. dude, he 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 does these manuals that are so fucked up. Yeah, that, and you're like terrified watching it, but you're like, oh my god, it's insane. It's just you have to. You're gonna be stoked. No, yeah. we'll check it out. How bro. long is the video? It's like 17 minutes. Oh okay. wow. Damn. Yeah, well, we'll probably review it on the experience show. Oh hell yeah. 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 yeah, dude, I'm hyped you brought that up though, dude, because I felt the same way. Mm. Like I watch every skateboard video that comes out. Every single thing doesn't get by me. I watch it all, but I'm not always excited about it at all. Yeah. yeah. And I don't want to ever say that because I understand how hard it is, but sometimes it's just lacking that emotion. And this one captured, especially seeing someone like Abe, I don't know, I'm guessing he's probably 42, 43 years old. And some of the stuff, he's doing some tricks in there. You're going to go, Holy shit, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Right, right. And other stuff, you're like, okay, he's doing a Wally, a wall ride, and a 50 50. But motherfucker, you try to do it like that. Most yeah. people can't. Yeah. You know, they right. fuck off. They want, like, oh, yeah, cool. Well, so dude, I'm not for the curb. Like, and you're uh, like, on one of a comment that Nakel left on Instagram about Ave, he's like, yo, how are you skating? These wall rides, like they're a pool, dude. You're in, like, it was so right. gnarly. Yeah, he's like, man. you're the best. Yeah. Like, he skates the spot like it's a pool, but it's just gnarly wall rides. You're mm. just like, it's so sick, dude. And especially as us getting older, you, it's like me watching you guys skate the Venice Nottis curbs right now, the Tim mm. Gavin curbs. I don't, who, who, are this the Nottis curbs, I guess, because he's first, but there's a little round things. Yeah. Even seeing our man Roger do some moves on them and yeah. seeing, you know, Oh, see Rob do some stuff on it. When you've been skating so long, when you see something like that and you know how hard skateboarding really is, and especially as you get older, it's all inspiring. Mm-hmm. You're stoked. Right. Sure. I love and, that. Like Daniel Castillo has been skating there even. I'm yeah. like, what? Mm-hmm. You know? So that's, I mean, I'm a, I'm a skate fan. So it comes full circle. Again, it sounds like I'm jaded because I'm talking shit on this stuff. But then I is. see somebody, you know, doing what they love still. It might be a trick that they did 25, 30 years ago and they haven't done it since because, you know, you might've been called and that shit was whack, you know, for so long, but seeing someone like if Jerron did a back three, I'm sure he's got them. Cause you grew up skating in the early nineties. I'll be like, what? <laughs> I didn't like that. I would be hyped. Hell yeah. yeah. I'll do one for you. There you go. Yeah. yeah I know. Yeah. you got <laughs> Is that, so, is that tough though? Like, have you done that trick lately at all? Back threes? I, I just, I haven't, but I know I feel confident it's there, that it's right? there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's you know, crazy. Sure. Yeah. That's awesome. It might take a, a second to do it, but I'll definitely be able to do it. Yeah. For sure. There's some tricks when I was a kid that I used to have, I, like Nolly hard flips. I can't even come close anymore. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, I did that one too. I can't, probably can't do that now. <laughs> It'll take a second for but sure. But back threes are like, that's kind of ingrained. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's like probably like five tricks that are just like, yeah, I got those. Are, I got those. That's yeah. <laughs> It's all about having fun, Corey. Yeah, dude, it really is. And sometimes you forget that one skipping starts happening because it goes from this wonderful thing where it's your interpretation of the world and a stick of wood, however you want to do it. And it turns into what the sponsors want you to do with it. And all of a sudden you're being kind of directed sometimes. And when you're going against the grain and not doing what they want to do, somehow then you get forgotten about it or you stop getting a paycheck or whatever it comes sure. down. And you're like, first off, you sponsored me for me being me. And now... I got to do it this way. Huh? You want me to wear this, but this is how I came up and this is why I'm liked. Or even though you don't ever want to be liked, but you become liked for who you are. But now all of a sudden you've been told how to do it. It becomes weird when somebody looks at you, like someone like Jerron, let's say he goes that back through. Nah, dude, that shit's whack. Let's see that switch crook though. That gets stuck in your mind. And you're like, Oh shit, I better do a switch crook even though that back three might be the most fun trick for you and you don't do them for years because somebody might tell you it's weak or sure. I did that with Pop Shovitz. I stopped doing my favorite trick for years 
because I was like, oh, I've done too many of them. Mm. I guess I should stop, man. Like, I can't go bigger or whatever. And I'm like, why the fuck did I stop doing that? That was the best trick ever. That shit's <laughs> fun as hell. Well, you had good ones on flat ground, too. You got pop on them, bro. Well, I learned from the... I went to the school of Drake Jones and Donnie Barley. For the pop <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Oh, that's some a, of the that's, best to do it right that's there. Right. Hell yeah! It's so funny how that some people just have that trick and some people don't. I, it's hard. It's you a know, hard one. It's like such a simple trick that could be so hard at the same time. But my switch one feels way better than the regular Ooh, one. That's oh, yeah. the funny that's thing. Weird, it's so bro. weird how that works. Switch pop shove it. Oof. The the switch pop shove it. It's just like it looks like it just sucks up. When you have that right technique, yeah. it sucks up faster. Yeah, and I don't know. Definitely. For some reason, my my foot placement or just how my foot is on my left foot, it just works better. Because when I try to replicate that with my uh, regular stance, it just does not fucking work right, bro. It's, it's so, so odd. So weird. Do you think it has something to do with the shoulders? Mm-hmm. Like, do you know what, I, what I mean by is like how you're facing. Possibly. I mean, there's definitely a part of that for sure. Yeah. You know, I always trip on that because I don't. Ha- I Chris. Has a good pop shove it. You we all have our shoulders open pop when we do it. it. Yeah, I guess so. When you switch, it's kind of closed guy, off. This arm always blinds me. My front arm goes in front of the face. Oh, does it? Well, let's take I, a look at this pop shove it right here because <laughs> oh, this is a this is a massive <laughs> pop shove it. It's a oh yeah. Look at it's that. Fucked. And you rode away like nothing. Yeah, um, but it, that one was a struggle, man. Was it? Yeah. Actually, I made a little YouTube video. I got a little account on there. I made them. Um, I posted all the, the trials and errors of that one, whatever you want to call it, the mishaps. And it's like, I don't know, I'd say about 50 tries of just sticking on it without being able to roll away. Wow. I was so upset. I, that became one of these like hate fuck tricks. And I didn't even want to do it. But you know, like you, you get to a point, and you're like, I'm just going to do this shit, even though like you're so mad. But you don't know how to give up because you've stuck on it so many times. There's blood everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's start. I mean, I pissed blood that night because I was so dehydrated and yeah. so much stopping. Yep. I don't know if it just, it's just, you know, messed my guts up. But I can totally. remember going to the bathroom, pissing blood. and like, damn, that shit stinks terrible. But Ugh. Yeah, because I'm sure at that time you weren't, you weren't powering down water as well. You were just going. No. I mean, how many times we were on sessions like that? We didn't have water bottles, foam rollers, any of this shit we got now. <laughs> no, it's you, so you're lucky if somebody went to the store and yeah. bought you a little, wa- little, little water bottle. And the TMs hardly ever did that. I don't know any team team manager that ever hooked me up that way. <laughs> you know, like they were busy watching you skate. You know, right, right, take right. you to the spot and do the trick, and yeah. that's it. That's like, <laughs> so you, so you really battled for this one. Yeah, I, I think I broke like four different boards on it too. In the same and, day. Same day. Get him. And so this one, this oh, one of the old tricks I went back for. <laughs> and so I went went there one night. We just ended up there. The spot's called the Shit Grinder. Okay. Apparently, that's an old sewage place where they fucking <gasps> cleaned up no all the wonder. Fun. Interesting. Yeah. So okay. People all were like, cool, I just got hep C, bitch, yeah. and right. Oh, my gosh. Um, it's like the Venice pits back in the day. So I ended up there with um, Burnett and... Somebody else, I think Kong. Oh, it's I him. Know. I know Kong. Kong. Yeah, yeah. He knows Kong, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Kong's the man. King Kong, what up, baby? <laughs> 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 Gotta give shout outs when you're on the nine club. There you yeah. go. Yeah, dude, San Diego, oh. man. There's a lot of fucking rad people in San Diego. Yes. So they took me there. I was like, we were skating in the banks, and I was like, I think Burnett maybe claimed, he's like, hey, you think you could, you could pop shove at that? I was like, Sure, let's give it a shot. There it goes again. Someone being and like, hey, yeah. you think He's like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. it. And so it was like sunset. But I remember my board broke. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, whatever. I'm flying home, you know, tonight or tomorrow, whatever. The photo got published. And I was like, fuck. And Kenny Anderson hit me up. I can remember seeing him. He's like, hey, that pop shove it photo. Holy shit, that's gnarly. When you get a Kenny A, you know, response, right. that means paying attention. I was like, fuck. I was like, when you put the kind of like the pop shove it photo, thinking about it. And then you know, I saw the mag, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go do this thing. <laughs> and I was filming a, a trans world video at the time called Right Foot Forward. And Chris Ray had heard I had tried it, whatever, or maybe John, and they're like, you should really try to get that shove it. I was like, okay, fine. And so I went there, and once again, like when you go there, you're trying something, 
it's not fun. Right. It's really not that fun. Because you're like, especially when you stomp on it like five times before it rolling away, you're like, this should definitely is not fun right now. Yeah. But then after I rolled away, it was, of course, like. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. You looked pretty happy. I was very happy that it ended. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Well, that, Dude, you're floating. I think I was like, finally. But, but the only thing I'm not happy about watching now when I was trying the other ones, they were actually popping and Kong or Jimmy Carlin were like, try not to pop it so high. It'll probably work. I was like, okay, fine. And then after I made it, you know, Jimmy's looking at my board back to my setup. He's like, Hey Corey, look how fucked up your trucks are. I'm like, why? What's up? He goes, you have a high and a low venture on because you have a low. Oh, wow. I was like, what now? He's like, you have two different trucks, high, wide, and a low, narrow. I was like, I do? Wow. I had no idea just because I just grabbed stuff and put it on. And maybe I asked at the time, you know, for a different pair of trucks, you know, try some some lows. I was like, I want to try some lows, man. Right. All those tech dudes, man, they're good. I got to get some lows too. <laughs> you know, see Rob's doing the switch foot manis. I got to try those fucking balanced nose grinds. I know you ride lows. No, he, there's no way you're riding lows. You're you're riding indies probably. To tell you the truth, yeah, I was riding indies, yeah. but that's the yeah, thing, Corey. I don't even know this whole th- like back. I would just throw trucks on. Yeah, give me some you know, get some yeah. indies. Yeah. These good we, wheels are sticking out a little bit. It's all right. I'll get some. I'll switch them out later. <laughs> don't worry about that later. <laughs> don't worry about yeah, that yeah. later. I don't remember what a 149 and 139 any of that was. It was like right. You're a pair of trucks, and I won them in a castle contest. Grind Kings. Oh, those suck. Trackers. Whatever. They're furry. I'll put them on. What size are they? <laughs> Shit, it's gonna get me skating tight. And so you were riding a hot rod, pretty much. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> it fucked. And so I was very happy that trick worked and ended. And it it's ended a good a one, dude. Trick. It's a gnarly Thank one. You. It's a yeah. gnarly one. I mean, dude, it's literally just a drop. Yeah, it <laughs> like, is. You know what I mean? Like it's you hardly yeah. just see the steepness of like just the drop. But look, you really, I mean, you caught, once it touched your feet, it did not that's, move. That's the hard part yeah. is making it stay there. It's when stuck you, to your yeah, foot. You go down, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what, when you have a good one, they work like that, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the kind of the, the way you want to do them now. A lot of these kids are doing pop shoves now, or I'm just calling them varials because I'm not even pop shoves. Don't so call like, it varials, dude. Let's not get into that here. Oh, man. So many yeah. people have, like, now that pop shoves are becoming trendy right now, I'd say they're, you know, kind of more popular again. Yeah. But so many of them don't have that cool the look. The proper not, pop. They have cool look, but they kind of have that cool look, you know? Like, like I was saying, like Donnie Barley and Drake, they had that special shove it. Yeah. And, Donnie I think of somebody Donnie else, Donnie. man. What did T- Tiago just did the switch pop oh. revert? The, Dude, Garrett yeah. Hill had good ones. Oh, Garrett Hill. That's Garrett, right. Yeah, he would he would get buck on that. Yeah. But yeah, there's different him. like pop sh- like for mine. I usually try to just get up. A trick's yeah. a good one to get up on. Mm-hmm. I never would go to like a gap and be like, I'm gonna pop shove at this thing. It kind of was like a mm-hmm. kind of a random one, right? Yeah. So. It's a bit of a grom trick. Yeah. No, but I mean, it goes back to if you have a proper one, then you you I just never felt comfortable enough to even let alone jump down something but on the ground i have to get it solid for me to even feel comfortable to do that yeah mm-hmm. all right we got more clips chris you want well, you want another clip all right let's get another clip. i want more clips baby i want to jock right. myself a little bit more and we'll say do- <laughs> it, dude. we'll do one more clip here let me god we got a lot bro i don't know two pages just kind of look at this oh here we go this is a good one you're all dressed up Back oh, lip. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. See, there's the light going off at night. Yep. Oh yeah. You got some good stories about this one, baby. <laughs> yes. I remember the song playing right here. I had an Osiris G bag up top, up there. Uh huh. It's playing Rolling Stones. She's a Rainbow. Ronnie Krager. Okay. Gets Amazing. Uh, oh, nice. And colors, you know, so I'm great song. Because Ronnie Krager, he's one of the you know, top faves ever. For sure. And the, the G bag, so I got Muska vibes with me too. But the whole reason behind this one, it's kind of, it's kind of fun. This goes all to 
I'm going to say all hell to the chief right here. Here's a Jamie Thomas story. Mm-hmm. Dane Berman and Adam Rumsky were asking me last weekend when they were staying with me. They're like, you've heard a story about this, including Jamie. Do you want to share it? I was like, ah, oh, I don't really want to talk about it because you know, I don't want to throw people in the bus. But right now, because it's up and we're talking, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. let's get let's get into yeah, it. So let's, let's deep dive. A couple of years before this, I ended up at the spot. Actually, my, when I, I had a think at there too when I was 14, doing a 5 0 down that rail. Oh, amazing. Also, ended up getting broke the fuck off before the make. So, as usual, it did happen. <laughs> Slammed, but it was like 8 a.m. Photographer, my buddy Bruce, he took me there and he's like, I got this rail for you to grind. 8 a.m. So he could do his yoga class after or something. Okay. You know? Wow. Hell. Fuck. But so, ended up at that rail one night with Jamie. Um, Ty Evan, no, not Ty, Lou DuPont, mm. so lead off there, Lee, yep. Jamie, Joe Brooke, and a couple others. I'm doing some front boards down it, having some fun. Front boarded it, and I was pretty fucking stoked, like, yeah, woo! I'm out skating with Jamie Thomas, my hero. I mean, that guy changed the way I saw skateboarding. I mean, this guy is my hero, hero. I mean, we have favorite skateboarders, but I'm talking about the guy who I idolized, who... I like wanted to, you know, skate with him one day. Right. And so I'm skating with them and these guys, they're filming for Dying to Live at the time. And earlier this day, we're skating this double King Cubba. My friend does a rail slide down it. And I was like, dude, Graham, that was the sickest shit ever. Jamie starts board sliding it after him. And I was like, huh, why would he do something that, you know, my friend just did? We're 16 at the time, so we didn't really understand yet. Pros don't give a shit about local homies and what they've done at spots. Okay. Is, yeah. I guess the way it goes sometimes. Sure. And I remember the quote going, it don't matter, you're just Duffel's friend. You know, I was like, huh, harsh. Okay. And on the same hub, I do this Damn. 50-50 grind kick flip out. I'm 16, you know, so I think it's cool, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I'm like, yeah, that was sick. And then so after that night, or that night, we still keep skating. But this story is all over the fucking place because there's a lot in this story. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty all over the place. Okay. But, but I can remember asking even for that clip, being like, hey, Jamie, can I get that clip? I'd like to see that 50-50 kickflip. Oh, the tape was lost. Oh, okay. Never thought about it again. Whatever. Years later, Lee Dog's like, you know, that tape was never lost. I was like, what tape? He's like, the 50-50 kickflip. He's like, it just couldn't come out, you know, because it was a, a trick at the same spot Jamie just skated. Oh. And here, Jamie's going, I'm going to get a text message after this going, that guess for it, it ain't happening now. You know? <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> shit. Wow. But I, I mean, I hope it's all in good, clean fun. And I hope Jamie knows I love him with all my heart. And that he's right. my favorite, one of my favorite skateboarders ever. And my path would not be where it is without him, you know? Sure. <laughs> but, Damn. So, um, we end up at the green hand rail after. He's like, hey, I want to see that rail you 5 0 and lip slid before. I'm like, okay, sure. And he's kind of checking it out, warming up, having fun. I'm, I'm just front boarding it. Joe shoots a photo of it. I'm fucking stoked. I like, front board my biggest rail I've ever done. I had cookies that I baked from home that night. I was really into, you know baking cookies for some reason you know, going out skating all night eating chocolate chip cookies kind of sick um so as i'm front boarding it or after i already made it i'm like yep pretty stoked and then i go to celebrate have like a little celebratory cookie i'm gonna call it i go to my car my 84 cutlass sierra broham <laughs> rom um fucking bitching car and i'm like where the fuck are my cookies Cookies are gone. There's a Reese's peanut butter cup in there. Not even the good kind, the tinfoil kind. Okay. That's in there. I'm like, huh. Word, whatever. I'll eat it anyways. Need some kind of celebratory, you know, treat. Sure. Look up. And I see Jamie trying to front board the rail. And I was like, huh. I'm like, what's up with that? And so I remember asking him, I was like, hey, why don't you back lip it? You should like back lip it. I just front boarded it. And... He was like, oh, it's too steep to back lip. I was like, okay, whatever. And I'm like, after the whole session, after that whole thing happens, 
I remember then looking at the back of my car, I had a zero sticker on the back of it. The sticker has been peeled off. And I'm like, huh, where'd my sticker go? I'm like, fuck, man, who would, who would steal my sticker? And then Jamie comes up later that night, too. He's like, hey, by the way, those cookies sucked. I mean, I don't know if that's what he actually said, but he's like, yo, those cookies sucked, man. Um, I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, oh, I tried the cookies. I didn't like them. I didn't do the favor. I tossed them. I got rid of them. He goes, actually, I feel bad because I left you a peanut butter cup. He goes, you came up on the deal. And I was like, what now? <laughs> and then Joe broke like, oh, yeah, by the way, Jamie ripped your sticker off your car. I was like, huh, okay. Kind of just strange. I'm like, there's some fucking weird shit going on here, man. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you know, but same time, I'm just like very happy go lucky the same way right now. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Faces, goofing off, like. Fuck, I don't got a care in the world. Who cares? Whatever, cookies, stickers, front boards. Sure. More of those out there. <laughs> and then one night I'm out skating with Joe, and for some reason I'm wearing an all-white outfit. Uh, but pretty cool. My white blazer. I was very into the Clockwork Orange book. Okay. And I was like, well, maybe, you know, and the whole goth culture. And everyone, like, instead of wearing all black, I thought it was even more goth to be an all-white I was like, dude, this is like as goth as you could be, dude. Like, just all white. And if I can remember the ox blood shoes I'm wearing, there's a pink shoelace. Maybe it looks like I'm like stoked to have a pink shoelace, but maybe it's all I had. You know, so I was like, fuck it, whatever. Pink shoelace. Who cares? But I'm like, we go to that spot. Joe's like, you want to back lip? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm down to back lip it. I think I back lipped it first go. I did a few of them in a row. And it ended up being the cover of Slap. Ooh. And I'm not positive, but I know we joked around about it. I told him, I was like, is there any way you can have it say something like in the contents page? I was like, I want it to say, I bet you didn't see that one coming because <sighs> that trick wouldn't have happened without Jamie because he said it was too steep. Right. So I just went just to, because I'm a Larry David, just I had to, you know. I love it. Poke. Like, huh? Okay, I'm going to poke. Yeah. Yeah. Back lip. Right. Oh. Not just once, I'll do it, you know, five times. And then, but I think what the caption actually said was no falls in this one. You could tell by his white outfit, not a single, uh, you know, there was yeah. no dust on it or something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Rolling Stones were playing and I think I ended up just doing it like five times in a row. And it was a great night with a bunch of homies from Portland. Amazing. They came out. Tyler Bledsoe was there as like an 11 year old kid, I think. Oh, sick. sick. Like oh, maybe an eight year old kid. <laughs> wow. Uh, Matt Hansen, just all these. It was just a fun night of just hot summer night, fucking oh. off with homies again. I love it, man. Yeah. And you back lipped yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So that's Gnarly. that's that story. But I had to, you know, bring up everything that worked up to that story. Yeah. It, it. It's funny because I remember, I think you told the cookie story on when you were here at the Nine Club. Yeah. But I don't remember. Yeah. Some of the other stuff. Yeah, so, I remember that either. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, sorry, no, I'm repeating a story. Some of these nine club people are going to be like, they're going to be on slapmag.com. And you're like, <laughs> he just told the same stories. Fuck, man. Chris Roberts <laughs> told the same trick. Where's Roger? Well, Roger's editing this shit like fuckers. So Dude. shalom that biatch. <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, but this has been incredible, bro. Like, seriously, Corey, we could talk to you all night. We can go through. Yeah. Can we do this again sometime? Because you can come back uh, anytime. Seriously, come back man. in the studio, hopefully, sometime. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but check, check. Holy shit. Yeah, we've been here for a while. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh, no, no, not sorry. Great. Thank you. I'm trying to work on this thing. I don't want to say sorry anymore. I want to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you for allowing me this. You know, when I show up late, instead of saying sorry for running late, always thank you for being there for me. Thank you for waiting. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Nice. You know, and thank, you, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because this has been incredible. God, I want to. I'm going to tell um, you something. This how's the apple by the way? It hasn't even gotten brown. <laughs> yeah, dude. Brown, you it's it, it's yeah. an organic it's one. A good one. I think it's, it's chilling. A good yeah. one. <laughs> like rotisserie, it's just going around yeah. real slowly. I take a one bite of my apple, it's brown. Instant right? Instant brown. <laughs> Instant brown. <laughs> Crazy, <laughs> bro. Like I can't even get my peanut butter ready to oh, go. Man. <laughs> or my Nutella, you know. Peanut butter and apples. Tell me about this before you split. You peanut ever had butter peanut apple? butter oh, with yeah, apples? That's like a go-to. That's yeah. that's a thing for sure. Dude, yeah. You cut up a little apple. Right, get your little peanut butter there. If trunk chunky or smooth, don't matter. Dip the dip the apple 
I uh-huh. recommend doing a little peanut butter and a little Nutella, right? So you mm. go, you go, you do a little peanut butter dip, do a Nutella dip, you do a peanut butter dip. It's delicious. <laughs> I like peanut butter with the French toast. That's a that's, that's good, good too. Good. What about yeah. peanut butter and celery? Yes, that one. See that one. I know it. They, I never liked the ants on the log, but peanut butter and celery. You know what? I never did ants on a log either. What's Everybody ants, ants on, on a log. log. You put raisins yeah. on the top of it. Oh, I always just sprinkled it with and peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still, ants on a log. Never did that. Yeah, I never yeah. did that either. Isn't that I weird? I fuck with in a blanket, but ants on a log, nah, nah. <laughs> Pigs in a blanket. <laughs> Remember those? Those are pretty tight. Yeah, <laughs> hell totally. yeah, I fuck with those. A little sausages, a little yeah. pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my wife is gone. I'm bored. You know, so sorry, guys. I don't want to say goodbye. I'm like, I have friends for once. It's COVID. It's been hard. You know, bro, you got to come back. Yeah. Either, whether it's via internet or here in person, when all this but, kind of yeah. stuff clears up, and we could have guests back in here full time. And dude, we love you, bro. We have yeah, fun, dude. and thanks. So thank you for this, and dude, <laughs> thank you, man. Fuck yeah, Corey. Yeah. And now, how do we end this? Is I don't just, know. It's like one of these hard things. It's like. Kevin Rodriguez, when we FaceTime, he's always like, you hang up so fast. I'm like, oh, I don't know how to say goodbye. You know, like, <laughs> you just, you're like, hey, guess what? Click. You know, like. I trip like, out. Rude, you always hang up on me. I so, trip out on people like that. They're, they're, all right, yeah. see ya. Well, yeah, just on even, on a, even on a phone call, mm-hmm. I'll be like on speakerphone and I'll be like, okay, later. And I go to hang up and they're boop, boop, boop. It's already, that they, they're done. Right when I say later, it's like, doop. Done. Well, there's some people that do that, and then they're like, "All right, see ya. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Okay." And they can't even like. Oh, dude, say Paul it. Shire. Oh. Try <laughs> having a conversation. <laughs> try saying goodbye to Paul Shire. All right, mate. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.